as you guys said, it's a sad day, and uh, unfortunately, uh, it's part of life, and it's the horrible part of um, our life. And you know, <clears throat> nobody likes to see anybody pass, and especially when we all have heroes. You, you come to think that heroes are gonna maybe live forever, but that's not the case. And you know, just a real special man who uh, happened to be one of the greatest goal scorers ever. More importantly. Uh, he was a winner both on the ice as a champion and he was a winner off the ice, just a quality person. Five years old, Hall of Famer, number 22, the Acalanders, Michael Bossi, has a word today. What an amazing, great players. Whatsoever you have a team, a favorite team in NHL, you always remember was, who was Michael Bossi if you're a little bit older like me. Uh, what a great hockey player he was. So we just want to pass a couple of minutes to remember who was Michael Bossy. All day long, we gave him Tribune with fun video um, during the day and also the live stream. So we just want to mention about Mike Bossy. Tonight, I'm going to put a picture of Mike Bossy in my background to recognize one of my idol, my role model as a young kid grow in, in Montreal and to have Mike Bossy uh, as a hockey player. On the flip side, the return of the Jesus Prize, a carry prize uh, back in the lineup for the Montreal Canadian is just jumping on the ice. Right now we have a standing ovation at the Bell Center for carry prize. Um, so, you know, um, life is short. Life is, you never know. And um, just take a time right now to be grateful and thankful for every single day you have in front of you. Um, yep, Carey Price back in the lineup for the Montreal Canadiens. Face to the New York Islanders. Uh, first game for, uh, for Carey this season. Would be interesting to see him again. The Bell Center is at full capacity tonight. Uh, and they all there to carry to screaming right now. Carey, Carey. Here we go. So, uh, Carey Price back in the lineup for Montreal Canadiens. We'll see how he's going to look tonight. And uh, we'll be interested that the game will be a little bit late tonight because the celebration by the ceremony of the Mike Bossy play for the National Laval. And um, what he accomplished, born in Laval, honestly, it's just a couple of miles from the Montreal city. So, uh, they're going to recognize right now Michael Bossy. All the players for the New York Islanders are going to wear in, not them, only the number nine, but also the number 22. And... Um, yeah, it is like this. Uh, Mr. Chancellor Stevenson in the house tonight. Welcome aboard. <laughs> Tommy Meyer. Welcome back, Mr. Tommy. Thanks to be a part of the show tonight. <laughs> Nuna. Welcome back, Mr. Nuna. Thanks to join us. Um, I wish I could tell you the really the right name is Zeb or Seb. Uh, obviously, uh, I can't show you the la part. Uh, malheureusement, it's uh, because of the rights of the copyright of the YouTube channel. The YouTube channel he ne not give us the chance to do that. Philip Jackson, game of game in the, in the house. 
Many one Kim uh, is in the house tonight. Welcome aboard. Jose Duarte, welcome back from the upstate New York. Nooner, welcome back, Mr. Nooner. Thank you so much. Very kind of you, Mr. Nooner. Mr. Enotap, he said, uh, welcome back. Anyway, Mr. Enotap, the insider of the warm up show. 38 years anniversary of the Good Friday massacre between the Abbey and Zik. All well done. I, if I remember, Mr. Enotap, it was April 2nd, uh, um, if I can recall it. April 2nd. Uh, uh, final score was 5-2. to two. Uh, Mr. Russ Stumpington in the house. John Gregor, welcome back. T, T, and Spoon King YT back in the house tonight. And from Sweden, Stephen Manberg. Welcome back, Stephen. Thank you, Gerard. Welcome, Mr. Gerard. 5-3. Yes, sir, Mr. Gerard. 5-3 for the Montreal Canadiens. Zep Lecav, welcome back. <laughs> Kelly, welcome back. Uh, two numbers, Zep, number nine and number 22. Uh, do Alain Lusset have a shot at the playoff? No, Tommy, it's over for them. Obviously, Madge family, welcome aboard. Danny T, welcome back, Danny T, Danny. Uh, what's we want to thank Mr. Uh, in our tap and Mr. Um, Danny T for the moderator of the chat. Uh, we don't have any rules specific here. If you are new at the Hockey Nation Live show, uh, first of all, don't forget, please, to click on the likes. That's where we, requ we ask you to do that. That'd be great. Be respectful, talk about hockey, and I'm telling you right now, the people will love you. We have a special, small family here. We are not expert. We just, the people love hockey, sharing the, what we love to do, talking about hockey every single day. So keep this cool. This is fun. And hopefully you're going to be really entertaining by the Hockey Coach Guru Code Friendship for the Hockey Nation Live Show. Charge. The puck drop at the Sunrise in Florida. The Winnipeg Jet play against the Florida Panthers. Only two games in NHL tonight. We're going to follow both games because, honestly, you know I live in Florida, so I'm, I'm going to watch the game live, live the Panthers. I'm going to follow also the Montreal Canadiens. And uh, we have uh, a match up uh, between uh, Eka Zorokin uh, for the New York Islanders uh, and, of course, the first game of the number 31, Curry Price. Uh, Mr. Francois Pietre, welcome aboard. Oops, sorry about that. Uh, um... Un autre qui n'était pas assez bon pour le Canadien. Ah, oh, il, il y en avait plusieurs, François. Il y en avait 14 comme les Canadiens qui n'ont pas pris euh, Michael Bossy. Euh, coach, what's your favorite baseball team? Uh, the Montreal Expos, Mr. Leon Tressarol. Mark Zuck and the house tonight. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. The puck is dropped at the, at the Bell Center. The puck goes behind the net. Uh, recovery went out by the Islanders. Trying to get puck outside the zone. Finally, recovery by one Montreal Canadian. Zuski dropped the puck all the way back on the right side. Petrie lo lo looking. Dropped the puck back. Back to Caulfield. Caulfield going the puck over there. No chance. The puck to go back to Edmondson. The puck all the way behind the net. Uh, and the puck all the way back. Uh, re recovery by the defenseman. Uh, Pelek, Pelek to uh, Pulak to Pelek and now the recovery uh, in the corner. Anderson makes some pressure. The turnaround went up by Lenders. Used the board to get a puck outside the zone. And finally, 
allé le pas go all the way back on the territory of the Montreal Canadiens. Jeff Petru went out chasing by Beauvillier. But go deep, deep. Nobody was there. Recovery went out by Bailey. Bailey draw the puck. Intercept by Montreal Canadiens. Draw the puck to Edmondson. Edmondson to pay three now. And we're going to restart on the neutral zone. Don't put the puck behind Zorokin. And it's going to be intercept by him. And drop the puck right there to Thompson. Thompson to Shara. Shara used the board to get out. And now the New York Canadiens come into the neutral zone. Keep the puck right there. It's going to dump Palmieri. Drop the puck behind Carey Price. And recovery by the Montreal Canadiens on the right side. Don't turn around by Romanoff. Savard lose the puck. Romanoff will recover the puck. He's going to scale with the puck. Draw the puck in neutral zone. And Armia. Armia tried to get to Savard. Savard lose the puck right there. But recovery by the Montreal Canadiens. Jake Evan now on the left side of the zone. Again. And Shara now battle for the puck. And the Panthers score. Already at the beginning of the game, the Panthers score. Hubert do score again. It's 30 of the year, 31. Anyhow, the Montreal Canadiens recovery. Puck right now. Do the deal. Shunneman pass the puck right there. Go back to now to Devarak. Direction. Shoot the puck. Enter seven up by the stick of the New York Islander. Hutton. Shoot the puck. Whiteman score. And a score. I'm sorry. He shoot. <laughs> Jesus. They go back to Devarak. Devarak try to get a puck. Enter seven up by Shunneman. Shunneman try to all the way back. I was watching <laughs> Hubert do. The puck go to the Shunneman. Shunneman try to get out to Devarak. Great play by Green in front of the Islanders net. And then finally, the Allen is going to get out of the park as the Barzell. Barzell's coming out. Barzell contre the park. Keep the park for himself. At the back door. Shoot the park. Miss the net completely. On the other side, the puck turn around right there. They go all the way back to the Montreal Canadiens. Try to get a long stretch pass on the neutral zone. Finally, Montreal is going to control the puck. Don't pay the puck by Zorukin. That's what we had at that moment. It recovery by Matt uh, Barzal. Barzal contre the puck. Pass to the D. Passing right now to the left side. Pull that long stretch right now. Tip the puck by the... Uh, the uh, wild uh, below, so wild strand, wild strand. The puck turned around by the Montreal Canadiens, neutral zone. The puck stuck right there and turned around again by the New York Islanders. Don't put the puck behind the net. Chasing it out by uh, Zizikas. Zizikas joined right now with Martin. Martin Zizikas right there. But the puck still by Poland. Poland tried the puck right there to Pesada. Pesada to Biron. Biron dumped the puck all in front of the net. Zorokin. Zorokin tried the puck. He shoot the puck. Montreal Canadiens. No chance right there. Puck turned around. Recovery by Petri. Petri ran the puck around the board to Pesada. Pesada chasing with Shara. Shara finally find a way to steal the puck. It go three to the D to D. And then finally the puck go outside his own by the... By the Islanders, but finally, the puck goes going to be all the way back. Uh, and this time, we have the first whistle of the game, and that's what we had at that moment. Thank you, everybody, for joining part of the show tonight uh, at the Hockey Nation Show. Don't forget to subscribe to the Hockey Nation Show, and then click on the like. That's what we like to do. Alan Bornes, welcome back. Thanks to join us tonight, Mr. Allen. Bussy said the Allen is going to be for the first one. It's going to be single. We're going to use it like a bus. The puck went out and then it was on it. Carfield tried to recover the puck. Romanov down the puck. He have a delay offside by Carfield. Lose the puck all the way. Paddle ran out of the blue line. Finally, the New York Islander recovered the puck. Tried to get back all the way back to the side. Zero shots so far after two, two minutes, 30 seconds to go play. Now the Islanders coming right now. And then it was on. Pajou passed the puck to the left side. And now it's coming. Fire the puck. Price make a first save of the night. Romanov tried to get the puck and around. Say get out by Zuzuki. Zuzuki went out. Get the puck. He's coming into the zone. Keep the puck for himself. Draw the puck behind to Carfield. No chance. The puck go outside the zone. But the... The New York Islanders draw the puck all the way back on the defense zone. Max, uh, Denis Savard, David Savard recover the puck. Behind Price is going to reset right now for the breakout. But we have an icing. We're going to reset all the way back. Uh, that's what we had at that moment. Uh, Denis Rodrigue, welcome back. Now in case you say with nine plus, it was the not even a great man. You could beat this record. Uh, please, Kalisa, don't forget to put the letter Q before you question. Uh, please and thank you. Ah, uh, not necessary. It's not like a, a question night. Uh, face up on the left side is a uh, but uh, it's a casual face to uh, we have to reset anyway. Uh, that's what we at. Nice to see Price uh, Dan O'Connell. Welcome back, Mister Dan. Long time we did not see you. The Florida Panthers take the lead already 1-0 against the Jets. And the puck go behind the net. Recovery by Pelec. Pelec went out contre the puck. Use the board all the way back. Intercept by the Montreal Canadiens. Savard, uh, Petri went out contre the puck. Went out. Pass the puck to neutral zone. Montreal continues to Turn around right there. Keep the puck in the zone. Recovery went out by, uh, by Armia. Armia contre the puck. And then 
I believe Uberdo scored the second goal of the game. Uberdo back to back have another goal. The puck turned around right there by the Montreal Canadiens. Keep control of the puck all the way back and shoot the puck and by the Montreal uh, block shot by the Islanders. Get the puck. Jonathan Uberdo scored two goals. Uh, tonight already with only four minutes. Montreal attacking right now. Penalty, delay penalty. Montreal is going to be on power play. Here we go. Montreal power play. That's what I'm talking about. Montreal first power play of the game. Jonathan Huberdeau scores second goal of the night uh, for him. Again, Flutter already take the lead 2-0 again with Peg. Montreal win the face of Caulfield. Caulfield back to Whiteman. Whiteman ran out to Caulfield. Caulfield back to Whiteman. Whiteman to the blue line. Waiting right now. Whiteman drive to Caulfield. Caulfield to Whiteman. Whiteman to Caulfield. Caulfield looking right now. Change his direction. Thanking. Back to Whiteman. Walking to the middle. Back to the skis. Skis coming now. Fire the puck. Uh, block shot by the land. And for the net. Caulfield for the rebound of the Warwick. Try the puck in the corner. The Warwick back to Caulfield. Caulfield went out. Coming back to Whiteman. Whiteman waiting now. Whiteman should have passed. 10 and 20 to Warwick. Warwick recovery. Passes the ski. And putting up ball all the way back to Whiteman. Whiteman recovery. Back to White. As uh, Ziski again. Ziski to Caulfield. Caulfield lose the puck. Recovery again. To Whiteman right there. Whiteman to Ziski. Control my line. Back to Biden. Putting that bump. Ziski shoot. Recovery. Pass Zucker. And to Warwick. And Zucker can make a big save. And the puck go outside the zone. The Montreal consider attacking right now. 130 to go. Montreal go back right there to Devarek. Devarek can get the puck right now. Devarek trying to get back again to Caulfield. Caulfield bring the puck behind the net too. Uh, pull, uh, to his ski, his ski comes the puck right there. Back again to Caulfield. Caulfield to goal line. Walk a little bit higher. Caulfield looking. Back to Whiteman. Whiteman walk in the bed. Back to Caulfield. Caulfield set up right now. Caulfield looking again. Caulfield look again. Keep the puck. Back to Whiteman. Whiteman's coming on the blue line. Waiting for his ski. His ski's coming down. Fire! They hit the, the block shot by the defenseman. Caulfield recovered the puck. Caulfield right now to Anderson. Anderson's coming to the right side. Back to Caulfield. Caulfield keep the puck to Whiteman. Whiteman right now looking. Back to Caulfield. Caulfield check again. Back to Whiteman. Whiteman to the scare the ash mark. Set up right there. 30 seconds to go. Whiteman back to Caulfield. Coming, coming down. Fire! Over the head of Zorikin. Zizki keep the puck in the puck. And the zone. Zorikin, uh, Zizki's coming down. Fire the puck! And Zorikin make a save with the glove and no rebound. We're going to restart at the left side. And Montreal for one minute. 37 uh, keep control in the park uh, with a puck movement for Ziski Whiteman uh, and Caulfield, but nothing happening. But we love what we just saw. Abby, welcome aboard. Thanks for joining us, Abby. Uh, Zeb, hello. Kelly, Jordan Tyler, welcome back. Now Montreal win the first half right now. Call the back at the blue line. Red seven out by back to Hoffman. Hoffman to Shoneman. So now Hoffman keep the part of the ash mark. Looking now back to Shoneman to the blue at the blue line. Fire! And another big save with the glove. A great shot for the Montreal Canadiens. The fourth shot on power play for the Montreal so far. And the Montreal keep control of the, the management of the power play, but not good enough. KMC Sport! Here we go. Welcome back, everybody. Thanks for joining us. I really want to do that. Don't forget to click on the like. Thanks to be a part of the show. Pajot on the right side of face out with Rand Pullen. Finally, the Pago now to Hoffman is going to be right there. Uh, on the right side of Zero Ken. 11 seconds remaining on the power play. Montreal did everything, not only not score. Romanev's coming down. Romanev passed the puck to the goal line. Control up by Gallagher. Gallagher changed the direction. Gallagher control the puck. Renard draw the puck behind uh, to Shoneman. Shoneman control the puck in front of the net. Uh, intercept right now by Pellet. Pellet still the puck. Finally, the power play is over. Four shots from the Montreal zone. The power play. Finally, the puck all the way back on the territory of the Montreal. Shoneman recovery. Long stretch pass right now to Poland. Poland drop the puck in the zone. zone. Hoffman Long the puck all the way back, eh? all the way back on the defensive zone. Pilot defenseman of the D to D for Allender. Nate Thompson recovery puck goes back to the D. Pass to Barzal. Barzal to red line. Barzal to the blue line. It's coming now. Barzal kick out the puck. Intercept again, but puck recovery by himself to behind the net now. It's a uh, 
and Matt Palmer lose the puck and finally Montreal recover the puck Hoffman Hoffman pass the puck right away by, behind uh, to Paul Biron Paul Biron's coming change the direction try to get around Paul Biron control the puck finally lose the puck but behind the net recovery by the Montreal Canadiens put the puck to the blue line he shoot the puck and Romanov I believe black shot by the Islanders they are coming out Finally, but the puck go back to Emerson. Emerson control the puck right now and find a carry price. Go dizzy back right there to Romanov. A new plus coming from the Montreal Canadian. Romanov pass the puck to Emerson. Emerson's coming right there. Emerson waiting for the new player. Pass the puck to right side. Controlling right now by the Montreal Canadian. Don't put the puck behind Sorokin. Sorokin intercept the puck right there. Run the puck around the board. Pitlick intercept the puck on the left side. Shara battle for the puck. Montreal recovery the puck. Try better in front of net. No chance. Now you battle between Uton. And finally, Shara during the puck outside the zone. Final, uh, and the Islanders going to come the puck in neutral zone. The puck changed its direction. Finally, the Islanders try to get a puck, but the Montreal cap control is pretty amazing. Puck still by Montreal Canadian. No chance to keep the puck by Carfield. The puck go behind the net of Shara. Shara use the, the board, pass the puck around. And again, the Montreal Canadian apply some pressure, recover the puck behind the net. Azuski back to Anderson. Anderson in front of Shara. Puck around to the Houghton. Houghton bring the puck in the corner. Now the Islanders try to get a puck outside the zone. Finally, they did. Finally, Montreal still the puck, going to re reset. They are coming back now. Shannon dumping the puck right now. Pajuski chasing the puck. Shara recovery. Shara right now, he rules the board to pass the puck to Wallstrom. And now we have a battle in the corner. Battle right now, Islanders. Pass again. You have no goal in Florida, by the way. I just want to let you know. And it's still 2-0 at the Florida Panthers. We have a puck recovery by Whiteman behind the net. Uh, and we have a whistle with 11, 26 to go remaining on the first period. It's uh, five shots for the Montreal and only one. It's all about the Montreal Canadiens. The only thing they didn't do yet is score a goal. Thank you so much, Carol. I appreciate that. Number three, win the first half again. Bring the puck behind the net. Then we have Gallagher, they were wreck battle for the puck. And now we try to get a puck. May finally the Islanders steal the puck. They are coming now in the neutral zone. Now they're coming to the red line. Try to get a puck behind Carey Price. The puck go at Carey Price. Carey Price make a save with a glove, no rebound. We have a whistle on his right side. That's what we had at that moment. And we have a first. TV timeout, that will give me a chance to relax a little bit. Hello, Richard Mullen. Thank you, Inner Tap. Round with Kings 20. Welcome back. Carol, welcome back. Welcome back, Mr. Steve G. Terry T. Happy Eastern. Helen Barnes, uh, welcome back. Uh, everybody coming back. The Blues just take the lead 1 0 over the Atlantic. Uh, the As, uh, the Oakland Atlantic, I believe. Uh, Francois Pitre, uh, welcome back. Uh, thanks to be a part of the show tonight. And uh, don't forget, guys, to click on the likes. We really appreciate thankful for and really thankful and grateful having each one of you in the part of the show. Don't forget, we have only one rule. The only rule we have is respect each other and encourage people to serve and have fun here. That's the most important thing. It's all about to having fun because coach love to have fun. Pat Pat, 950, welcome back. Uh. Luke Chiano, Graziano. Welcome back, Michel Clusier from République Dominicaine, the Dominica Républicaine. Welcome back, Buono Nace. Como esta, Michael Clusier? We love you. <laughs> Harry Tillis, uh, welcome back in the house tonight. That's what we had at that moment. The puck went out the right side of Carey Price. And finally, Montreal get the puck outside the zone. Halfman keeps the puck right there. No pass with the hands. No Carly right there. Hoffman fire the puck. A black shot by Zorokin. The puck go behind the net. And we have a whistle right away right there. 
and it's going to be called back by the ref and 10.55 to go remaining on the first period. What's show, Bueno Amigo? Yeah, cannot wait to surprise the action again at KMC. Yeah, enjoy tonight also. Jose Duarte. Uh, so we're going last 18 game in the top. Um, yep, yep, I know that. Uh, come on now, shoot a pack blocker, save by Zoro Ken, a pack go behind the net. Uh, Ricardo Padinho calendars, battle right now in the corner. We have uh, another pass right there. The, the turnaround pipe pulling, I believe, back the pipe by Pesada. Pesada try to get a pack. Finally, Landers going to steal the pack. Go back to the left side, chasing one up on a Montreal Canadian. Turn around right there. Thompson try to get a pack outside the zone. Pull and intercept. And now pulling battle with the Biro. Finally, intercept by Romanov. Romanov keep the puck. Pass the puck to the right side. Whiteman shoot the puck. Uh, miss the net completely. Chasing right now on a Montreal Canadian. And uh, point the puck behind the net. Uh, it's Pesada right now. Try to get to Poland. Shabra recover the puck. Pass to Pajot. Pajot drive the puck in the neutral zone. Race seven up on a Montreal Canadian. Point intercept by Paz. Parzal, Parzal get hit by Romanov. Long stretch pass went out by Whiteman. Whiteman should have piped by Pesela. Hit the goaltender and go to rest for now for the New York Islanders. They're going to have new players coming on the ice. Uh, turn around went out by the New York Islanders coming in neutral zone. Change the direction by Pelec. Pelec went out by the pipe in neutral zone. Set up by now by the New York Islanders. They're looking around. Parzal control the puck. Parzal to the red line. It's coming out. Kick out the puck to the left side. Kick out by Pelec. Pelec bring the puck to the right side. Basel chasing the power now behind the Montreal Canadian. They go D to D. Now Whiteman get almost killed. Uh, got hit. Turn around the puck at the blue line. Intercept by the New York Islanders. Go putting the puck. Bring the puck in the corner. Recovery went out by uh, Parisi. Parisi try the puck in front of the net. Intercept by Whiteman. Long stretch pass went out by Montreal. And they bad pass. By Whiteman, uh, Pulak recovered the puck back to Pelec. Pelec set it up right now, regroup on the defensive zone. Then they're going to reset in the pass right now to Palmeri. Uh, it was not Palmeri, it was, uh, I don't know. Anyway, the Islanders shoot a puck, Carey Price make a save, recovery right now from the Montreal Canadian, pass the puck, D to D, they're going to reset. Jeff Petru with puck right now, waiting for the new players coming. Petru back to Edmonds, uh, Shoneman. Shoneman back again to Pes Pet Petri. Petru right now. Is this Whiteman? I think it's Whiteman. I put a drive. Shoot him in right now. Long stretch by neutral zone. Great by Gallagher. Gallagher's coming now. Gallagher ran the puck around the board for Anderson to the left side. Maybe it was Carfield, by the way. The puck go around behind the net. Recovery went up by uh, Azuski. Zuski bring the puck to Petri. Petri shoot the puck. Missed the net completely. The puck was on in front of the net. Black shot, uh, blocked by Zorokin with the blocker. Back to Anderson. Ran the puck to the blue line. No chance right now to check by Edmondson. Intercept by Carfield. Carfield's coming now. Carfield try to get a puck. Back to Edmondson. Turn around by the New York Islanders. They finally turn around and they bring the puck in neutral zone. A uh, great turnaround by the Montreal Canadiens right now. And the puck all the way back on the defense. season. a little bit too far for Anderson. Now the puck go back and uh, by the Islanders. Uh, Bouvili draw the puck. Another pass back by the Montreal. Pass to Carfield. Carfield's coming now. Parsi lose his edge. Turn around and the Islanders coming down. Islanders control the puck. Make another steal by the Montreal Suzuki. Suzuki drawing the puck on the defensive zone. They're going to regroup and the new players coming for the Montreal Canadiens. David Savoy in front of Carey, Carey Price with our, about almost a bit over eight minutes to go remaining on the first period. Gallagher now, now kick out the puck to Hoffman. Hoffman is coming to the right side of Zorokin. Shoot the puck. Save by Zorokin. The puck turn around left side. Kick right now. Uh, battle in the corner by three players where Biron, Dobson, finally they were racked. Drive the puck to Shara. Shara used the board to intercept the puck all the way back on the defensive zone. No I saying the puck recovery by Price. Price back the puck to Savard. Savard used the board and now the puck all the way back on the defensive zone. Chasing went up by Gallagher. No I saying Gallagher first one to beat uh, Pala, uh, Pulak. Now we have a battle in behind the net. Uh, chasing went out. Gallagher is watching what's going on. Then intercepted by the Montreal Canadian. Missed the net completely. Recovery by the Islanders. But still again, still by the Montreal Canadian. Should have the blue line. The puck go over the zone. Can intercept went out by the defensive Montreal Canadian. Keep the puck deep zone. Should have been intercept right now by the Zizikas and Shuneman is going to regroup on the defensive zone and new players coming from the Montreal Canadian and also for the New York Islanders with 7 minutes 5 seconds to go remaining Shuneman back to Whiteman Whiteman skating right now pass up by neutral zone don't be the puck chase it by the Montreal Canadian win the battle for the back win the race uh, Jake Evan try to get a puck and to, uh, but enter 7 up by Pajot drive the puck to the side Montreal get the puck behind Pajot ran the puck to under the side Houghton uh, used the board to pass the puck finally he did it and uh, recovery by New York Islanders Kai Pamelry, fire the puck. Carry Price make a save, no rebound. We go to a, a rebound uh, offside at the left side of the Carry Price. Another save for Carry Price. Welcome, Helija Bounds in the house tonight. <laughs> yep. 
Welcome, everybody. Thanks for being a part of the show. And uh, we're going to wait now for another face-off on the left side of Carey Price. We have a TV timeout. So that's where we're at. Uh, Kevin! Welcome back, Mr. Kevin! Welcome, everybody. Don't forget to click on the like. That'd be great. Mike Hoffman is back in the house. Uh, Mike Hoffman, what's going on? No goal in the last 18 game, buddy. What's going on with you? If you continue to play like this, the people will do this to you. You have to step up, Mike. Come on, Mike Hoffman. Zero goal in the last 18 game. What's going on? Ah, uh, okay. Very good. I like it. I like your answer. <laughs> I like it. You work on it. That's what I love. <laughs> I hope so, Mike. You need, we need you. We love you, first of all. I want you to know we love you, but we need you right now. We need you like never happening now. So hopefully you're going to step up and make some production Uh, tonight, a show to the part for the fans. We need you for next season. So step up tonight, my friend. First off, and now on the left side, uh, hit the likes. <laughs> yeah, hit the like, Mike. That would be the first thing to do. Maybe that would show you a game. Uh, oh, Mr. Who. Welcome aboard. Uh, thank you so much, Mike, to subscribe. Of course, not going out. Intercept the Montreal Canadiens. Go did the rest of the game. waiting right now. Long stretch pass, but Romanov, bad play. Recovery pass Savard. Savard went now back to Romanov. Romanov control the puck right there. Pass the puck in neutral zone and dumping the puck on the left side. Chasing by Nate Thompson. Thompson look on the right side. Pass to Shara. Shara turn around. Shara keep the puck behind the net. Pass to Thompson. Thompson control the puck. Pass the puck in neutral zone. Cap control by uh, Romanov uh, and turn around when now the puck go a little bit too far for Basel Montreal don't pick the puck all the way back to left set and I think my son Marchand just oh high stick I apologize now the puck coming Peniski bringing the puck around the board for himself Ziski tried to get around uh, we know Ziski play with a little bit some injury he have uh, Anderson back to Ziski between escape pretty much uh, pass again to Anderson Anderson control the puck right now Anderson looking back bring the puck around the board to Ziski Ziski went out to Caulfield Caulfield to Ashmack back to Rame Anderson shoot the puck And someone tops tip the puck and the puck go in the net. We have a whistle in front of the Zorokin. Uh, that's what happening at that moment. Nine shot for the Montreal Canadiens. And I apologize, it's three shots for the New York Islanders. At that moment, we have six, five minutes, 44 to go remaining on the first period. Welcome back, everybody. Thanks to be a part. Ross Stubbington, welcome. And Darian Evanson, welcome aboard. Thanks to be a part of the show. Puck went out face up at the right side of Christian Devorak. Uh, uh, face to Peugeot. Uh, winning part in Montreal Canadiens. Shot a minute on the back once. Shoot the puck. Uh, Miss the net completely. The puck turned around. And we have another whistle. The puck tipped someone. And we're going to shot right there. And we're going to restart on the right side of uh, Zorokin. Anita Taylor. Welcome. Salut. Uh, Anita. Uh, Zef, uh, it's rare someone m'appelle l'entraîneur. Okay. Coach will be perfect, mon Zef. Mon Zef. Uh, 99 and the shot, not only 46. He like a face, like a leap, but then please subscribe. Please, uh, that'd be great if you don't mind to click on the likes. That's the only thing we're looking for. Uh, we don't ask a lot, and uh, it's not about me. Every time you go somewhere, somehow you click on, you go to see a creator, the best you can do to helping that person create continents or you entertaining by those people, uh, click on the likes all the time. And I'm not talking about tonight. You can watch it tomorrow and a video, a song, or a mindset, motivation. Click on the likes. You're watching a continent, someone teaching you about 
whatever you want to learn, click on the likes. You're watching a video about traveling, right? The guy or the girls that the, does the video, click on the likes. That helping them to grow, to get better, and they, they, they do the best they can be. That's to take a lot. It takes about five seconds. And you don't know the impact you make. Sometimes we're looking for make it friends and live. It's not about your voice. It's all sometimes just you just serve. It's make a big impact. Maybe open the door. Maybe pay the, caf- the, the coffee to the person at the, somewhere. But that's those little details make a big difference in life. So I share with you. <laughs> Mr. Roger Jean, welcome back, Mr. Roger. Long time we did not hear from you. Pas de problème, Anita. René Andrich, welcome back, René. Hopefully you're doing well, René. Alexis Dubuc, uh, welcome back. <laughs> Alain Bélanger from Costa Rica. Welcome back again, Mr. Alan. Thanks for us. And we have a subscriber, Fuzzy Sunny in the house. Welcome and thank you so much for your subscriber. At the show, the pack go behind the carry price. Carry price win the pack went out to the board. Intercept by Gallagher. Paddle again, Gallagher put the pack out for the zone. Intercept went out by the... Alan does kick the puck to Pajot. Pajot went out. Draw the puck behind to Bailey. Bailey trap it. Fire! Miss the net completely. The puck to the left side. Shoot the puck right now. Intercept by the defenseman. The puck still by the Alan does. Bring the puck to the blue line. Now it's Pelek. Pelek went out. Shoot the puck right now. Surprise, make a save. The puck go around. Intercept by Shoneman. Shoneman get the puck. Run the puck around the board. Montreal used the puck in the throw zone. Kelly Gar finally gave the puck to uh, Pulak. Pulak went out with the puck. Pass the puck to the left side. To Pelek. Pelek went out. Bring the puck to the side, go back, D to D. Recovery went out with less five minutes to go remaining on the first pair, still 0 0. 10, 10 shot by the Montreal Canadiens. Uh, not the puck, Montreal, uh, the Islanders. Long stretch by the Trozon, dump the puck by Carey Price, but unfortunately, the puck go all the way back over the glass and it's going to be under the whistle and the neutral zone. We we'll go to restart and uh, right there in the neutral zone uh, in front of the Montreal Canadiens bench. Uh, uh, West Coast, yes, West Coast. Fais ça dans notre zone. Euh, quand j'ai vu que Hughes veut reconstruire, ah, oh, parfait, mon Alexi, bien content d'avoir ça, je suis très heureux. Euh, Dallanders are slow, back-to-back game, did not play well yesterday. Uh, uh, against Pittsburgh, they gave a lot of 2-1. And unfortunately, they're not. if you want to watch the game, you click on the website over there. The park turn around right there. Control the by the Montreal Canadiens from the net. The Zorkin in uh, the park turn around. The Islanders still the party are coming into the zone. Now pushing right now with Thompson. Thompson at three versus two. Kick out the park to the right side. Shoot the puck. Carey Price make a save with the blocker. The first save right there. Right now we have some pushing and the Panthers and the... Uh, the, just at that moment, the puck down around by the Lenders, bring, bring the puck behind the net, carry price, intercept the puck, pass the puck to the right side, to P3, P3 went out, bring the puck behind the net to Edmondson, Edmondson right now, pass back to P3, she's swimming up by the Lenders, P3 looking, long stretch pass in the neutral zone, back to Carfield, Carfield to Anderson, leave the puck behind, she's swimming out by, uh, it was not Carfield, it was Anderson, Jake Evans still on the ice, by the way, intercept went out by the New Calendars, we know his next key play with an injury, tonight possible, the Skip a couple of shifts. Uh, Coffee recovery by no Pitlick. Pitlick's coming now. Pitlick contra the puck. Pitlick ran the puck around the board. All the way back to the left side. Amir intercept now. And try to get up control. Amir bring the puck at the blue line to Ramana. Ramana's coming now. Pass again to Amir. Ah, oh, Amir missed the puck when right they shoot the puck and intercept now. By, the, by Martin, uh, Martin. Martin back to Evans. Evans shoot the puck by Whiteman. And hey, shoot the puck and rebound. No chance for Pitlick. Recovery by New York and another pinch by Ramana. Now we have battle again the board. We have two players right now. Jake Evans try to get a puck. And let us try to get a recovery. Finally, still the puck back to Ziska. Ziska down the puck in Montreal territory. We're going to recover by David Saval. New plus coming for the Montreal Canadian. We're going to reserve for the breakout. Uh, the puck waiting right now by David Saval. We wait for the plus to set up. Pass again that to Ramana. Ramana to the blue line. Pass it again to Biron. Don't pin the puck behind. Chasing went up and pass it up behind the Pelek. Pelek again. Go around, pass the puck to Barzel, Barzel back to Pulak. Pulak went out to Parisi. Parisi bring the puck behind, intercept by Biron. Biron back to the, the Savard. Savard back to Whiteman to Chenemin. Chenemin use the board, intercept by New York Islanders. Going to be an ice stick. We're going to reset at the neutral zone with 2 minutes 36 seconds to go. Remaining on the first period is still 0 0. 
Go Habs, go Mo! Mo, 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 Mo! Blue Jays 2-0. Uh, welcome back, Mr. Uh, Mo. Hopefully an amazing, great day. Don't forget, guys, to click on the like. That'd be awesome. Thanks again for your participation at the Hockey Nation Live Show. We appreciate your donation of click on the like, sir. Donation, click on the likes. That's pretty good. Rivers Dance, um, we wait for the gold. Uh, it is the moment, I agree, Zef. Uh, last night was last night. They go, abs, go. Alanda are uh, uh, not good. Uh, uh, it is what it is. Uh, now, Matois recovery behind the net. Rest center now. Try to get a puck and use the board. And the Matois long press right there. And they're showing up at the The puck turn around. The puck go behind Carey Price. It's going to be a nice thing with 2.19 to go. Quinn flip goalie. How's Price looking? And he cross movement. He's played the Ivory a lot. Uh, He's looking great so far. Quinn flip. He make a good save on the blocker. I like what I saw so far. Only five shots for the Islanders. So not a very busy night so far, Quinn. Thanks to be a part of the show, Mr. Quinn flip uh, goalie. <laughs> Alexis, quoi la suivante? I use besoin. Uh, présentement, Alexis, quand je fais la partie, j'ai bien de la misère à répondre aux questions. Allender are OK. The power right now recovery by the New York Islanders use the board and they're coming back behind uh, the recovery by the Montreal Canadiens territory right now. Use the board. Back, they, they, they. back to Emerson. Emerson use the board. Enter seven up on the ski. Pass the puck to the right side. Now Montreal attacking now. Mike Hoffman. Hoffman coming now. Waiting for the new players. Back to Gallagher. Shoot the puck. Divorak bring the puck. Zorro can make another save. Pajou lose the puck. Gallagher to Divorak. The puck to the other side. Finally, the Islanders try to get the puck outside the zone. Chasing by Gallagher. Finally, they did it. Pass the puck, went out to Pajot. Pajot, pass the kick out. Now a 2-1. Fire! And uh, over the right shoulder, prize the puck, stop at double line, Palenders, and kick by Edmondson. Now the puck go in the corner. Allenders make some pressure on Montreal Canadiens. Turn around right there. Fire! And uh, a Bolivier and Price make a save. No rebound. Uh, a bad play by Edmondson in the corner. And that's great. That opportunity for the Allenders. And that's happening. We're now six shots for the Allenders so far. Uh, that this one over there jesus i wonder we'll go one day over there let's go here Shut this in. i'm very happy welcome another great uh, subscriber thank you so much i appreciate it a lot um uh, in the middle of the game all right everybody panela pause with the pause Francois and are dead and Mike is alive. They look like they are dead, Francois. They play last night, uh, Francois. That's the reason why. MSU, welcome aboard. Thanks for joining us. Uh, Romanov is uh, chasing the puck and for the Paris Lee. Win the ball off. First the puck on the minutes was on. Tom P went out by Suzuki. All the way back to Anderson. Anderson is behind. The puck go turn around by the Anders. The puck losing went out. Crawford recovered the puck. Fire, Salah! He missed it up barely. Romanov tried to get the puck. Intercept by the Anders. And this coming now. It's maybe a one versus one. And finally, they are coming back and drop the puck behind and shoot the puck price make a save bring the puck in the corner Highlanders save the puck right now but the puck losing and recovery for the Montreal Canadiens Suzuki pass the puck to Caulfield Caulfield's coming now waiting right now pass on the back door great stick by the Highlanders they are coming back now a possible at 3-1 at 2-1 now intercept right now by Highlanders bring the puck in the back door intercept right now by Montreal lose the puck again Highlanders recovery pass the puck in the back door now it's Pelesh fight the puck right now miss the net completely the puck go outside the zone it's going to be all the way back on the defensive zone with 40 seconds to go remaining on the first player, still 0 0. The puck's shooting right now, Palenders. Possible the icing. That would be the call right there with 37 to go remaining on the first period. It's still 0 0. We have to go all the way on the right side of Zurichin for a face up. Good to pass for Montreal, maybe to do something good before the end of the period. We'll see what they have of the, on the ice at that moment. MSS, welcome back. GT Ramirez, welcome back. Thank you, Mr. Ross S. Tumbington. The puck go behind the net. Recovery by the Montreal Canadian. Throwing the puck right now. Battle right there by Pelek. And then, then recovery by Pelek. But knows the puck to Armia. Armia packs to Pelek. Pelek turns the direction. Pelek, Pelek bring the puck to the blue lock. Recovery by Manson. Shoot the puck behind. And Pelek right now try to get a puck in front of Armia. Battle in the corner. 13 seconds to go. Armia try to get a puck to Evans. But finally, intercept by the Montreal Canadian. Whiteman back to uh, it was P3. Turn around by New York Islanders. Uh, four seconds to go. It's going to be the end of this period and price make a save here we go after 20 minutes 0-0 uh, between the Montreal Canadian and the 
New York Islanders. Uh, the New York Islanders shoot eight times on Carey Price tonight, uh, zero goal. And then we have, of course, the Montreal Canadiens shoot uh, 14 times on the zero can. Have a good period for them. Uh, 7 14. I apologize. One power play for the Montreal. I shot four times on zero can at the beginning of the game. I like what I saw on power play, but not good enough to score. That's pretty much happening during the first period. And uh, Carey Price make a good. And Florida right now uh, at the Panthers game, uh, still a 1 minute 35 seconds to go. 2-0 for the Panthers. Huberto scored his first goal of the of the best first goal of the night because he scored two goals. It's 29 and 30 of the se of the season. And Giroud got two assists. Chariot, Ben Chariot, ex from Montreal Canadian, also have uh, uh, two points for Giroud and Huberto so far tonight. Bennett have also an assist. That's what we had at that moment. 2-0 Panthers over the Jets. Uh, they still are on power play. That's what we had over there. Mr. Dan Asham, welcome aboard. Thanks for joining us tonight. Mr. Dan, Kevin DB, welcome aboard. Um, chat, please listen to Butler Bean. Uh, leave the best uh, GD. Uh, leave Ecobar winning yet. Yeah, that's what y'all been saying for the last past 20 years. Shara, only one cup. Jonathan Huberdo, a uh, super elite. Uh, Norm Bride, uh, welcome back, Mr. Norm. Good evening, uh, Roger Delaney. Thanks for being a part of the show. Roger Ray, welcome aboard. Thanks for joining us. Uh, Andrew Ford, welcome aboard. Thanks to be a part of the show also, Mr. Andrew. Uh, Mr. Andrew Ford, hopefully an amazing, great show, uh, day so far, Mr. Andrew. Alan Viaco, welcome aboard. Thanks for being a part of the show tonight. Um, and Mr. Go Red Wing, Go Piston, all right. Uh, go down and go to play like a job. Plans are okay, a great season he does for the New York Islanders. We want to have Mr. Andrew Lepage, the insider of the Montreal Canadian for the Arcanation show. He's going to show up in the next couple of seconds to talk about the game so far. The Florida Junior Panthers game was good. Isaac Frost, uh, welcome aboard. And our top is a member. Yeah, it is uh, Roger Jean. Welcome back. We didn't see you this week, Mr. Jean. Uh, uh, no, Ross, you have no penalty. I did not see anything today in NHL about his suspension, uh, Ross, about that one of this. So I don't think so. Uh, Yann Gionnet said, uh, Je suis content for our carry price. Uh, uh, do price look good this prayer? I can see the game. Um, he got only two face uh, about, you know, he got face to seven, uh, seven shots, two opportunities. He make the save. That's what we add to that. Nicolas de Gobi Bono, welcome aboard. Thanks to be a part of the show. And Mr. Andrew Lepage, uh, welcome aboard. How's it going, Coach? How's everybody enjoying the game? So far, so good. Right on. What do you think about the first period? Actually, much better improvement by the Habs. Much better. You know, they're, they're looking half decent. Um, Schooneman standing out for me. Uh, Armia standing out. Uh, Petlick's having a better game. So it's, uh, yeah, the boys look uh, like they've come to play tonight more so than the last two games. And, you know, I'm surprised. Price looks very poised. And it's amazing. You can even see how the defense seems to settle down better with a guy of that experience. I just, yeah, I definitely know for sure about that one over there. Uh, for sure. We have a net, 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 net Lafon with uh, Yamo all back in the house. Uh, Michael Divinelli, welcome back also. And we have, of course, uh, we missed someone. Uh, welcome everybody to be part of the show tonight. Uh, uh, yes, you're absolutely right about that. Uh, I think Carey Price bring also um, is one guy can carry, he, he, first of all, compare what we got before. He controlled the park a lot. It's almost like oh, a six defenseman. Better. So to yeah. use that way, that's helping a lot. Um, that's helping a lot the, the Montreal to reset, right? So the defensemen right. don't have to go behind the goal line sometimes. They can get a puck on the board at the ash mark. Exactly. And then that's happening about that one over there. So uh, maybe uh, Andrew is going, I'll get you back. That's awesome. Uh, question for Q, uh, from uh, Jose Coach. Is this Kieser? Yes. 
is the last couple of games he keep playing with an, a, a minor injury. Uh, yeah, he does not practice that. the morning anymore. Uh, it's called like a treatment day. But uh, the fact he does not practice the morning, I can tell you that he has something. Uh, he's yeah. not looking good over there about that. But it would be nice to see the Canucks in the playoff uh, about that. I will be interesting to see about this uh, uh, for that one over there. I know top Nick Zick over there. Uh, what do you think about that after that the second uh, the second period? Oh, like I say, I'm I'm hoping to see more of the same. At least that power play looked a lot better. You know, we got some better movement on it. Um, again, I'm just keep keep with the program is what I'm hoping they'll do. And uh, I also like the fact of, of the way they, I don't want to skip this, you know, only Montreal can put on, a, you know, a, a, a show the way they did for Mike Bossy. Only Montreal seems to put on such a class act uh, performance and how fitting for the guy who was the change in dynasties from going from the Habs back into the day to the Islanders taking over. How fitting to do it in Montreal. Yep. And then, of course, uh, where is Dauphin? Dauphin is a uh, LT Scratch Allen. Uh, that's what he at at that moment. Uh, uh, welcome back, Mr. Michael DiVillano. Hey, how's it going, Mike? Hey, boys, what's going on? Uh, we're constantly talking about the hockey Better and everything like that. And we talk about the first period. A uh, um, little bit a team tired from the New York Islanders play last night. You can see they are tired and back-to-back -back game, and that, that, that smell the end of the, the season for both teams, honestly. Montreal did not do well the last game in Columbus. Now you see the Islanders uh, don't do well. Zorokin uh, looking looks good. great over there. He Zorokin looks good, is yeah. going to be one legit. of the top like, best five goal like in NHL very soon. Does he have emotion yeah. shirts in the NHL? Or he's like top two or three anyway. So, no, Markstrom's yeah, got nine. I think he's got four or five. So he's been really right. good. Um, he looks good. To yeah, he's 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 excellent. Like he legitimately might be in the Vesna discussion, just if you look at his numbers. Yeah, unfortunately, you know, it's late it's because the Islanders. But uh, you have a great yeah. great season, honestly. For that, welcome, Mr. Good. Rick Smith. Thanks to be a part of the show tonight, uh, uh, Francisco Eblesi. Uh, yes, just keep play with an injury, a minor injury at that moment. Uh, for that part over there. So, I, hey, guys, I wanted to jump on because uh, I don't know if you know, my cousin drafted Mike Bossy when he was oh, with wow. the Chiefs here to the New York Islanders. I mean, he drafted a lot of those guys like Brian Trotje and Clark Gillies and Bob Nystrom. All those guys were, you know, draft picks nice. under Jimmy. And I was always an Oilers fan growing up, and I always hated the Islanders <laughs> despite that. <laughs> And so Jimmy left the Islanders in, I think, 1982, went to the Detroit Red Wings. He was <clears throat> the first hire by the Illiches, and his first draft pick was Stevie Eisenman. Before that, wow. it was based upon his work with the Islanders because he was there for three of the four cups. He left during 82, which I think was the last one, and that was his first year in Detroit trying to revive the dead fit things. and. It was uh, it was interesting because then I, I worked for this company in Toronto and it was a startup and we had one guy and he he brought in Mike Bossy as like a company kind of ambassador or spokesman and actually before that finally so I went to just before you know, maybe a year before that actually my cousin gave me tickets to Wayne Gretzky's induction ceremony oh nice so I got to go see him at the Hockey Hall of Fame and. It was crazy, but you know, I, I didn't clue into it at the time. So then fast forward like a year and I'm meeting Mike Bossy as the ambassador and he goes, oh, are you related to Jimmy? And I'm like, yeah, he's my cousin. And so we kind of, you know, we're friendly over that. And he, 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 um, he was relating the story. He goes, yeah, uh, Jimmy let Henry Ciracini, who was the scout, <laughs> draft me. <laughs> That's how he put it, right? <laughs> Never, never to give credit where credit's due, I guess, in that case. But it was like, no, I'm, I was my own person. But he was like 18th overall or something. Yeah. 15. 15, 15, yeah. And there was like 21 teams or 22 teams. Then, right? so it, it's kind of crazy when you look at how he passed through all the people in that draft. And he was, I said, oh, yeah, I was at um, Gretzky's induction ceremony. And he goes, oh, yeah, I wouldn't go to that. 
What's all that about he's skating the problem, Marco? <laughs> so he was like, I, I would not go to that. His and problem was the skating. I don't think he had too much of a problem, man. He could shoot the puck. So could he ever? <laughs> oh, but when you watch him, when the you play, velocity on his shot, he could stay in his own end. <laughs> yeah, you're right. When he when he played junior, it looked like he was a terrible skater, right? So nobody thought. Yeah, you're right, Pierre. That um, case is not obvious. I'm number one some fans uh, of the uh, Nick Zuski. Uh, Broly are wearing his jersey during the age game. As just keep playing with the jersey, he won't mention about the fact like the kid is tough. Like does not want to take any break. Mm -hmm. he, he want to play whatever he have an injury. And the scissor does not count anymore. Doesn't want, you know what I mean? So he shows some kind of character about that one also. So that's so, what happened yeah. about that. Uh, Nicola, yeah. what, what happened to Ski? He played with a minor injury. That's the reason he does not practice anymore in the morning. Uh, Nicola, it's called a treatment day. Uh, yeah. but now he got treatment day every day. So that's the reason why, um, he still play with a minor injury. Um, man to man, uh, do you boys play better with price back? Is leadership calming everything down and making it look easy? That's just bring spark of the team. It's why we trust, uh, what does he bring the way he play around the board or around the net? That's what gave them, uh, that calm. kind of the, uh, the yeah. chance for the defenseman and reset the breakout, everything like that, and the calm be around. And you can see a big fun between a guy with experience versus a guy like Ron Tambo. Yeah. We had, the other lower. thing that Mike Bossy was telling me, he goes, he, he's, you know, he said, to, he's very gentlemanly. He was a very nice man. Great guy. He was yeah. a real polite guy and, you know, real, real engaging and fun to hang out with. And, we all got like jerseys with bossy on the back and our company logo on the front. And actually we had a, a men's league hockey team in the telecom league, if you know that, but so we were all, we were all became Mike bossy fans much after the fact. And Mike goes to, you know, after we talked about the Gretzky induction ceremony and how he, he just would not go to that. He said, well, you know, I think the greatest sentiment of all time is Brian Trotchick. And he proceeded to explain to me for you know, the better part of an hour why Brian Trotche legitimately is the best centerman of all time. And maybe the greatest player. <laughs> you know, I, well, he's I loyal. Really agree with, but, I mean, if, if you look back, I think, you know, up to that point, they won four cups in a row. And yep. these two guys were like, they were not older players. Like they were young. And they were, you know, Mike Bossy and Trache, like had phenomenal statistics. You know, yeah, Mike Bossy was nine out of ten years a fifty goal scorer. Trache had a, like a hundred and thirty eight point season at one point. Yeah. Like if you look back at their numbers, it was pretty. And my he, no he was he was no slouch. <laughs> and then oh, and then you had uh, you know Gillies, and then you had Nystrom, and then Tanelli. Oh, Nobody's even Tenelli. thinking of John Tanelli. You know, yeah. and then you had uh, Potvin on defense and Ken Morrow on defense. What a team, you know. And, and Frenchie got to see Potvin for a long time in Florida as an announcer and very wow. similar to Mike Bossy, very gentlemanly player, you know. But they were yeah. na nasty to play against. You go back, if you watch, it's very. pretty horrible to watch. They're on YouTube. If you go look up uh, Islanders in the Stanley Cup final game against anybody, especially the Sutters, and they're just yeah. like hanging on top of guys, just grabbing yeah. them, bear hugging them, and you're like, "What is this nonsense?" Love Brent Sutter, yeah, yeah. yeah and so you know, that's better. just it. When it when it started out, I despised the Islanders, but yeah, I again, as I started looking at them, I looked at Bossy, and I was like, "Yeah, you, you had to love him, just the character he was, you know." Yeah, what he Arnold, brought to he, the game. He only played him. for the Islanders. And what was interesting about Billy Smith was, I think he was actually drafted by the New York Island or the LA Kings. Wow. Really? So he, wow. He was a, he, I think he was like a waiver or an expansion draft pickup by the Islanders. Isn't uh, uh, Yamo, yes, Bossy oh. was play only for New York Islanders. Yamo, he played only 10 years. Oh. Um, if anyone career. going to respond yeah. to the comments, been made. I don't know. Um, if it's a question, you have to put the letter Q, uh, Alan, yeah. about that. Uh, the comments is between the people. Unfortunately, we cannot answer everybody, but I don't know which comment you talk about. Um, if you refer to specific comment, we'll, we'll answer to you. Uh, the last question was in the chat, Alan. It was from Michael from Inotap, and it was a story about Jimmy DeVellano and Michael Bussey. So I don't know what are you talking about, the rest of that. 
and oh, then uh, uh, Yamo know? and yeah, you never missed the net. Uh, Michael Cusi said, <laughs> "Yeah, it was crazy about that, that one." Just, over there. Dude, he was so accurate, so accurate. That's what I always remembered. He put a shot on the net, and nine times out of ten, it was going in. You know, he picked his spots. Beautiful. So I don't, I don't know if you know, but. So when Jimmy, this is like a little bit unrelated, but somewhat related. When Jimmy started out, he was the chief scout of the St. Louis Blues. He was a scout and then the chief scout of the St. Louis Blues. And the guy at the Blues, they were an expansion team. And they yeah. had all the expansion teams in one side and then the original six in the other. And then they met in the finals. And three years in a row, the Blues, their first three years in the NHL, made it to the Stanley Cup final. Never won. Yeah. yeah. And there was, there, you know, the coach then was, and the GM was Scotty Bowman. And it was Emil Francis. Jimmy wrote a letter to them, and he was a scout in Junior B or a coach in Junior B in Toronto, became a scout. So there was a connection there with him and Scotty Bowman. And then the defenseman that was on St. Louis was Al Arbor. Oh, wow. <laughs> when, when they moved, when he moved over to the Islanders with, with uh, Bill Torrey, and it came time yeah. to, you know, hey, you should get this guy. And they brought in Al Arbor because he said, hey, he would be a really good coach. Of it. And so that's what happened. He became a coach, right? So then you fast forward to around 1992 or 91, whenever. So it was like, okay, you know, the Brian Murray experiment didn't work out. Jimmy was back in charge. And then Scotty Bowman. And it was a, it was a two-headed monster at the time. And Jimmy. How could you um, go wrong? Yeah. Well, and actually, before that, Jimmy was like, okay, well, it was between Al Arbor and Scotty Bowman, and he actually wanted Al Arbor to go to Detroit. Oh, but wow. they ended up picking Jimmy or Scotty Bowman. So Jimmy and Scotty, because of the, I think in part because of that and because of St. Louis, were very at odds through the up until the point where they won the first Stanley Cup. They finally won after a lot of drama. And then Jimmy yeah. stepped aside and he said, listen, so we don't keep fighting. This is not good for the organization. Put this young guy in as the GM, and that was how Ken Holland got the job. <laughs> Billy Smith was drafted by the Los Angeles Kings, uh, 59 yeah. overall, and then he was uh, on the expansion draft by the New York Islanders. He was yeah. picked up by the from the Ken, from the Kings, and then uh, King of Gamer asked you and uh, uh, Mr. Andrew, how many shootout will Price have at the end of the season? How many shutouts? Shootout, yeah. <laughs> I have no idea. I mean, we got to take this slowly. Let's see how he is first before he, I can't say anything on that. I got to see yep. how his health holds up first. You know. We welcome Mr. Eric Tetro and also we got uh, Jeremy Lavai. Thanks to be a part of the show. This is second is Peria is going to start right now. So we wish you thank you, Michael, thanks, to boys. stop by. I know he's your lunch time, so you, we apologize, Michael, to, you, to stop by during the lunch break. And Andrew, we'll see you after the second period, Michael, anytime. Sounds Have good. an amazing, great night, uh, both of period. you. I will see you a little bit later. Have a good night, Adam. Thanks to be a part of the show. Second period is going to start at that moment. And we're going to be right there and go from there about man. Uh, what do you have to use Q, uh, Kelly? If you have a question, Kelly, you use the letter Q. It's easier for us. I can click on the search, put the letter Q, and I can answer to your question. That's the only reason we can ask you Q. If you don't do it, we try the best we can catch up. But when people write on the people, the comments, or anything like that, it's not easy to follow. And then I have to listening what he said. I need to check on the on the chat, and then I have to take care about what's going on around here. So uh, that's the reason we asked the letter Q. So thank you so much for your under, uh, your understanding about what we ask. I think it's not too much to ask you that. Now, pack go behind the net, recovered by Allenders. Allenders cover the puck right now, turn around in the corner. By Bouvillier, Bouvillier control the puck right now, keep the puck for himself. Turn around right now, by the Montreal Canadian. They got outside the zone. They are coming in the neutral zone. They are keep the puck right there. Dumping the puck in front of Gallagher. By Hoffman, the puck go behind the net, intercepted right now by the New York Allenders. Thompson right now, keep the puck all the way back to uh, Bailey. Bailey back to. Uh, Shara, Shara back to Thompson. We are at the first minute of the first period, at uh, the second period. The puck go back to Bailey. Bailey control the puck. Right now, keep the puck. Keep the puck on the side. And now they go back. Pajo, shoot the puck. Miss the net completely. The puck intercepted right now by Thompson at the blue line. Keep the puck back to Shara. Shara stand up now. Fire, fire the puck and tip by the Islanders. It missed the net completely. The puck go Bailey. Bailey bring the puck all the way back to Thompson. Fire the puck. Uh, uh, shot, block shot by uh, 
price. But again, Amir make another bad mistake. Back to bit lit, pick a little bit too far for Gallagher. Recovery for Thompson. Thompson passed the puck all the way back on the defensive zone. Panya Calendars. And now Shara loved the puck all the way back. Uh, Paramanav passed the puck right there. Recovery went up, I believe. Ran the puck on uh, Price. Price intercepted the puck. And they go back all the way back behind the net. He go Didi back to Romanov by Savar. Romanov loves stress pass in the zone, tipping. At Panama, Trois Canadian intercept as Zorokin behind the net. They're going to wrestle right there by Pelek. Uh, Pulak went out pass to Pelek. Pelek's coming in on back. Pass the point neutral zone. Dumping your puck behind the, the Montreal Canadian. Intercept went out by Shuneman. Shuneman used the board. Back to Ski. Ski skating went out. Pass the point a little bit too far from Carfield. Carfield lose the puck. Recover by New York Islanders. Now Barzell. Barzell now in neutral zone. Control the puck right now. Kill the puck for himself. They're going to regroup on the defensive zone. Long stretch pass went out. Back to Barzell. Barzell kick out to Paris. Paris to the side. Fire the puck. Uh, block shot by Shuneman. Now uh, uh, Shuneman kick the puck outside the zone. Carfield back to um, uh, to Whiteman. Whiteman behind uh, Carfield. We have an offside bad play by Chris Whiteman. We're going to reset right now on the neutral zone after a whistle at the blue line by Craig by the Montreal Canadian. Here we go. That's what we have right now. The Islanders recover the puck right now. Going through the puck, go D to D, and they go to wrestle in the neutral zone. Intercept right now by Saval. Saval kept control right there. We have a battle in the corner. And wrestle right now by Green. Green pass the puck to D to D. Don't pay right now by the Islanders. Islanders can be on the right side. The four line for the Islanders are on the ice. Intercept right now by the Montreal Canadiens. They finally get out of the zone. But the defensemen, the Islanders, protect the puck, and they're going to reset behind Carey Price. They're going to run around the board. And that will be all the way back around the Islanders. Still the power now. Great, uh, great hit by Romanov. Uh, Roman, uh, Poland, Poland right now. Try to get a puck outside the zone. The puck go behind the net. Savar recovered the puck. Ran the puck around. Savar got hit badly right there. And Savar looked like he's hurt at that moment. I don't know what's going on. But the puck go behind Green. Chasing went up on a Montreal Canadian. No icing. Chasing by Bad Biron. Bad Biron lose the puck. Bouvili ran the puck around the board. And now they are coming back. The New York Islanders drop the puck by Brooks. Brooks went out to Bouvili. Bouvili with full speed when I was coming out. Bouvili keep control of the puck when I was shooting in front of the net. Whoa! Shot by Brooks. I don't know price that shit, but the puck so in front of the net. Edmondson ran the puck outside. Recovered by Gallagher. Gallagher passed the puck all the way back to Hoffman. Hoffman keep the puck for himself. Turn around. Change the direction. Hoffman to the blue line. Contre une fois les Back in, straight pass again, back again, Devorek, miss the net, Kennega contre le pack, bien le net, suddenly, Shara, steal the pack, use the board, pinch went out by uh, Petri, by in front of Andrew Lee, back to Hoffman, Hoffman ran the puck around the board, all the way back to Edmondson, Edmondson cannot keep the puck in the control, and the puck go all the way back on the defensive, Devorek's coming, Devorek pass the puck to the left side, don't pin the puck all the way back, a delay offside or a whistle, They're going to reset on the neutral zone, that's what we had at that moment. That's what we at. Um. We have to whistle to drop a puck. Uh, that's what we at. Uh, second five for next save G. I took abs, Danny, Jose. Good pick for Jose. Uh, at Jose and the puck went out, set pan out by Landers, drawn the puck behind uh, Carey Price, uh, lead the puck all the way back to Shenemann. Shenemann got hit by uh, Pajot. Shenemann drive the puck to the right side, chasing went out by Whiteman. Whiteman control the puck, blue bunting kid, welcome back. Uh, long stretch pass by intercept by Josh Bailey, turn around, transition went out by New York Islanders, three versus two, fire the puck. Uh, Carey Price make another save with the block out, they turn around and out, Islanders, but firstly, Montreal get out the puck all the way back by Whiteman. Love the puck all the way back on the opposing side of Zorkin. Chasing went out by Petlick. Petlick with Armia. Armia went out, get the puck. Finally, uh, Palmieri turned the puck to Pajou. Pajou pass again to Grain. Handy Grain, the veteran, 39 years old with the New York Islanders. And maybe it's last season in NHL with Shara. That turn around now by the Basel. Basel looking now, control the puck, keep the puck for himself. Basel tried to escape back to Grain. Grain pass the puck, D to D. They're going to reset and pass all the way back in front of Carey Price. We have a nice thing. We're going to reset all the way back on the left side of Zerukin. That's what we had at that moment. Yep. 
I feel that's why uh, Jose about the Islanders. Uh, you can see they are not too much hungry or uh, to go that direction over there. And the family of Price are set at the glass. Uh, Angela, she's in front of the glass with the two kids. Uh, and now the Landell score. Uh, Four sling score, the Panthers score 3 0. Savard went out the back door uh, to Carfield, intercepted by the New York Islanders, trying to get a puck outside his own, pinched by the Montreal Canadiens. Puck go behind the net, Islanders win the puck all the way back to the other side. Finally, the puck go outside his own, chasing went out by Anderson. Anderson's coming out full speed, Anderson's coming contra the puck, back to Carfield. Carfield fired, completely stopped by the defenseman, recovered by Anderson. Anderson dropped to Anderson Zuski, changed his direction again. The turn around right there, back again, fire! From the Montreal Canadiens, the puck go to Carfield. Carfield ran the puck all the way back to the blue line, back to Romanov. Romanov back to Carfield. Carfield to Ash Mark. Carfield back down to uh, Saval. For Romanov! Fire! Zorkin rebound! No, after that, another save for Romanov uh, for uh, Zorkin on the fire of the on the shot of Romanov. And we have no wh another whistle on the right side. That's what we had. The, the Panthers score. Four sling score, and it's 3 0 for the Panthers over the Winnipeg Jets. This is the end for the Jets. I think they're going to be eliminated tonight. And what year, uh, Monsieur? Am I going to the game seven? Call it that's with them. About that, uh, you guys, your good conversation. Don't forget to click on the likes. If you don't mind, that'd be great. Uh, Puck went out in the neutral zone, intercepted by Montreal Canadiens. Skelly with the puck, coming to the left side, turn change his direction, looking for the back door. All the way to the other side, no chance for Shinneman, but he'll recover right now. Shinneman looking, drop the puck behind the net. Uh, Piron, try to get intercepted now with Pesola, battle for the puck. The puck to uh, Paisi Zika. Zika still the puck in front of Shinneman. Now the puck goes to Didi. Finally, the Islanders go to the seven now. Long stretch pass, neutral zone, tip by Martin. The puck go behind Carey Price. Uh, we have uh, uh, icing on the left side of Zorokin. The first period right now, we are already 6 20 minutes to go, and it's not great hockey at that moment. Uh, Paul for both teams, by the way. Uh, not great execution, a lot of uh, bad play by, by both teams, and also uh, disorganized a lot. The puck changed, the, you know, gave away turnover. But we'll see who can score the first goal of the night. Could be the only goal we're going to see tonight. Uh, and we have a face up at the right side of the so the cast is they were wreck and winning by the Islanders possible. They are coming now in neutral zone. They're looking right now. Pelek dumped the puck all the way back over in, Mon in Monson. And now the puck go away behind a prize. So they go DD. Petri recovery behind the net and waiting for the new prize, a new. Uh, set up, break out, long stretch pass, Emerson, great pass right now, a uh, big for Devarek, Devarek in front of the Gallagher, shoot, uh, so he can make a save, rebound, and uh, recovery by Nia Calendar, lob the puck over the head of Petri, the puck all the way back, deep zone, we have a whistle, and we're going to reset all the way back on the defensive zone again, that's another way, uh, it's not going to looking good so far, Anita! And we go scared, like I a split T all over him. <laughs> Charge! Whiteman went out, shoot a point for the net, so again, make a save, another rebound, and then does pick up the puck, went out, turned around, and both of you, uh, shoot a puck again, shoot a man, back to uh, Whiteman, shoot a puck, missed the net again, the puck to shoot a man, shoot a man, shoot a puck to get a uh, two B round, I believe, back again to the blue, and another shot for the Montreal Canadiens, and so again, make another save, no rebound, and again, Montreal over right now of the Zorokin, 21 shot, uh, Pitlick could not do anything about the rebound. And so far, the Montreal uh, put some pressure on the defensive zone of the New York Islanders. The only player show up for the Islanders so far is Zorokin. That's what we at. Uh. <laughs> Yes, Avalanche won in 2001 visit the Devils. Uh, Steve said that. Uh, can we go skate uh, until I spill uh, my drink? Uh, ah, I cannot wait. I need to. <laughs> uh. 
Maybe TV time out. Let's do it. Thank you, Danny. Awesome. Uh, thank you, Nathalie, to send me the picture of the Montreal Canadian. I love it. We have to wait now for the TV timeout to come back. Uh, again, 21 shot versus 10. Montreal de dominate a little bit more the second period right now. We have a couple more action. We see how the Montreal can score. Who is going to score the first game, the first goal of the night? Uh, would be interesting to see that. Um, what year prize made over 50 say it won the gold medal? Uh, You talking about junior, or are you talking about need five more members to hit the thirty member? Then he said, uh, "Are you talking about junior or Team Canada?" Um, Michael, we have a right now waiting for the puck drop. Finally, Montreal win the face off. Uh, the Islander is going to get out of the zone. Bailey drop the puck back to Thompson. Uh, Thompson recover the puck. Pass to DD. Shara used the board to pack the puck into the zone. Recovery went out. Pass again to Justin. Uh, Josh Bailey. He's coming out. Drive the puck right now to Thompson. Thompson play the puck. Rim the puck around the board. Islanders control the puck. Bring the puck in front of the net. Intercept went out for the Montreal Canadian. Zuski lump the puck into the zone. Intercept by Thompson. But Zuski recovery. Zuski is coming out in front of Thompson. Change the direction right there. Drive the puck behind to Caulfield. Caulfield Intercept the puck, bring the puck all the way back to the blue line, back to Anderson. Anderson control the puck. Anderson change the direction, pass the puck outside the zone by Romanov and no chance for the Montreal. Romanov drive the puck to Azuski or Caulfield. Caulfield back again to Anderson. Anderson lose the puck between skate, recovery by Pajot. Pajot lap the puck, intercept went out for the Montreal Canadian. Finally, they are coming back on the front zone. Two teams went out, they just said, What well, the season is over. It's time to go home. Coffee went out. Rim the puck. Shoot the puck in front of the net. Uh, intercept by Thompson. Thompson played with the puck. Coffee went out. Coffee shoot the puck. Zeruki make a save. Turn around. And the Islanders get a puck outside the zone. They go to go recovery by Josh Anderson. Anderson went out. Pass the puck to Whiteman. Whiteman wait for the new plus coming from the Montreal Canadian. That's what we had at that moment. Uh, I'm not going to deliver this key. It's only when we have more okay, one on, on live uh, about that one over there. Um, don't worry about that. Uh, Frank Moisan. Welcome aboard, Frank Moisan. Thanks to be a part of the show tonight. Uh, don't forget, guys, to click on the likes. That'd be awesome. And that's what we at. Uh, welcome aboard. <laughs> Charge. Only 10 shots for the New York Islanders so far for the first uh, almost like Half of the game right now. We start in the zone. Winning by the Montreal Canadian. Park you do the D. They go to the seven out. Shannon bring the puck in the zone. Pack the puck to the right side. Montreal's coming to the right side. Shurigan shoot the puck. Miss the net. The puck go away by Whiteman. Whiteman shoot the puck. Black shot by the defenseman. And a little bit too far for the breakaway for the Lenders. Price control the puck. Back to Whiteman. Whiteman use the board. Pass again to Shannon. Shannon get four check. And recovery went out by the... Montreal Canadian, Shoneman lose his edge. The puck go all the way back on the defensive zone. Green shoot the puck, hit the skate of Montreal. Puck to change the direction. Fire! And in front of the net, the puck looking around. The puck turn around right now. Islanders attacking right now. Four line for the Montreal. Green pass the puck right now. Uh, two, um, uh, I don't know. Uh, Parzal right now on the ice right now. Bring the puck around. Green pinch the puck. Bring the puck around the net to Paris. Paris fire. Price make another save. The puck turn around right now. Montreal uh, full hands right now with Paris. And again, and the puck. Puck stop at the line, no call for them. too many men. Pesada turn around and the puck recovery for the Montreal Canadian. Whiteman intercepted out by New York Islander, pinched by Pelex to Parzol. Parzol will now have a puck in between escape and lose the puck by Paul Biron. And the puck goes to Whiteman. New plus coming from the Montreal Canadian, both for the New York Islanders. And they are coming back now. The puck over the left side, long stretch for the neutral zone. Pass to uh, Devarak. Devarak went out to 
Uh, our meal or no is uh, half men, half men to get a girl, the pago behind the net, half men lose a pack, pack of salad on par the cast, stop by a part of Shone Men at the blue line, and to sell an out by a Pelec, Pelec to Palach, Palach went out with a pack, back to Palach and the defensive zone, long stretch band the trans zone, control to Valmont 3 Canadian, recover the pack, all the way back on defensive zone, Jeff Petri recovered, uh, Petri used the board to pass back to Edmondson, Edmondson skating with the pack, coming to the blue line, Edmondson now control the trans zone, kick out the pack now, Montreal stacking the right side, Montreal in front of the net, shoot the puck, miss the, miss the net, Berlin, a rock puck recovery from the Montreal Canadian, put the puck in the neutral zone, intercept by the Lenders, but again, they were like, drive the puck to Hoffman, Hoffman scaling with the puck, and they go to drop back again, and we are halfway at the game right now, 0-0. The puck go to Montreal Canadian, back again right there, Hamia control the puck, Hamia looking, Hamia fire! He missed the net completely, barely. The puck stop at the blue line. But the Montreal Canadiens, great play by uh, Savard. Lose the puck finally. The puck go outside the zone. They are coming at Bouvillier. Bouvillier with Brooks. Uh, trying to park in Nelson. Uh, Bouvillier right now in front of Romanov. Romanov control the puck with Armia. Nelson joined the party. Now Armia try to best something with the puck. So they boy, helping me. I don't know what to do with the puck. Then look at Armia. Draw the puck to the side. Savard recovery by the lenders at the blue line. At the down zone in the corner. And, the, and bring the puck outside. Montreal winning the puck. They are coming back. Right there, down the part of the side, a bit too far from Pitlick. Pitlick chasing when I was Shara, Shara, the monster Shara, the giant Andre Ferra, Ferry, number 20, funny net, a little bit too far. The Lenders get out of the zone. Finally, they are attacking right now, but he by himself loved the park behind Romanov. The park go all the way back on defensive zone, recovery by Alexander, pass the park to the right side, back to Saval. Saval pass now to Armia, Armia to Red Lines, coming out, three versus three. Armia control the park, support the park now, pass the park to the right side, back to Saval. So now Saval is maybe. Whiteman, Whiteman went out, that's my shoulder point for the net. Uh, no chance uh, for Montreal. Recovered by Whiteman. Whiteman all the way back to the blue line now. Whiteman turn around. Whiteman with edges. Shoulder point for the net. So can make a save. Rebound. Put the glove over. And we have a whistle at that moment. Uh, the referee called again. So can make some, uh, little bit, some Dominic Ashek tonight uh, for the Islanders. And that's where we at at 20 shot for the Montreal versus 11. We have a TV timeout. Uh, that's what happening again at the moment at the Bell Center. All right, Danny, let's go. Go bet the time out in the corner. I envoie mon, mon, mon ami François là, dans le, le petit coin. Mon Danny, Frank and Moisem, put it in the, the time out, my friend Danny. You can do it. Don't worry about that. Karen Marchand, welcome aboard. Thanks for joining us tonight. Comme qu'on dirait, mon Zef, bonsoir, il est parti. Je me suis dit que j'ai vu de retour de presse, m'en faire un petit retour et venir dire un bon bonjour. Merci, Karine. J'espère que tout va bien. Je te souhaite euh, joyeux spark, que tout va bien avec ta santé, que tout euh, est sous contrôle. Euh, C'est sûr et certain qu'on te manque. Euh, J'espère qu'on va te revoir un peu plus souvent. Coach euh, Danny, how long I didn't been usé cold play song can Montreal come on the ice? Uh, I think a few years, uh, Dan, I would say about six, seven years, I would not be surprised, uh, Dan. Bonsoir, il est passé, voilà. <laughs> go to timeout, Steve, here we go. We like the people, but when they are not nice, we have to get an out. Morning Wood back in the house. That's all. Welcome back, Mr. Morning. I agree with you about that. Uh, Stanzo fait cette partie. C'est pour cela que j'ai dit, France, merci de ta visite. Eh <laughs> bien compris. About that one over there. And we're going to reset. Uh, moi, FC à toi aussi. J'ai commencé. Euh, une nouvelle vie. Je suis parti de Montréal pour aller à Rimouski. Une nouvelle vie, une santé meilleure. Tout va bien. Très, très heureux d'entendre cela. Je te souhaite euh, meilleur de des chances. C'est bon, des fois, avoir du changement dans la vie. 
Uh, face on the right side, Allender win it by the face. Oh, the puck going on the right side, Zorikin. <laughs> Communication between the defensemen, Zorikin. So wait, wait a minute. The puck is right here, buddy. All right. Uh, Panthers 3-0 right now at the half of the game, exactly almost the same time, like in Montreal. That's what we had tonight. So it will be a very quiet night here at the Hockey National Show. Face up on the right side, Zorikin. Sizikas winning by the Montreal Canadian. Great play by Montreal. Sabas coming down. Shoot the puck. Zorikin make a save with a glove. No rebound. Zorikin said, come on, David. Shoot me a puck. Show me something. Right now, you shoot like the like U14 right now. Chantal Lewin, uh, welcome back. Uh, Chantal Lewin back in the house tonight. <laughs> cheer, Chantal, and cheer, Danny. The puck turn around, Panama talking is intercepted by the Islanders. Coming now. Oh, great hit right now by Josh Anderson. Change of direction. Zizi Kaz never see Anderson. The puck turn around right there. Intercepted by the Montreal Canadian. But the Islanders still the puck again. Don't pay the puck right now. All the way back to uh, Pajot. Pajot face to Savard. Pajot keep the control right now. Bring the puck to the blue line. Intercepted right now. Possible by the Montreal Canadian. Finally, uh, Zizi won the face off. Intercepted. Uh, win the puck. Back to God, the left side. Complete by and Anderson. Recovery right now by Basel. Basel is coming now. Stick by Zizi. Turn around by the Montreal Canadian. Finally, Islanders. Still the puck, the puck over at Basel. Basel drive the puck to the side. Handy Green's coming out. Down the puck behind Carey Price. Intercept the puck. Control the puck right now. Carey Price play the puck. Draw the puck to Savard. Intercept by Parisi. Parisi trying to get the puck to Basel. Battle right now. Parisi trying to puck in front of the net. Still Parisi. Lad the puck in neutral zone. No chance for nobody. The puck go all the way back. Regroup by the New York Islanders. Use the board. Hit Just hit the lights, man. The puck to Basel. Basel to the blue line. Kick the puck to the left side. To Parisi. Leave the puck all the way back. Recovery by uh, Ramen up. We have a whistle with 6.42 to go at the second period. Still 0-0 between both teams. Puck winning by the Montreal Canadiens, intercepted by the Lenders, but Puck go all the way back. Edmondson drive the Puck all the way back to uh, Biron, I believe. Biron to the goal line, but intercepted now. Chase it by Pesada. Pesada missed the net, uh, the Puck completely. The Puck go outside the zone. Biron cannot intercept uh, the Puck, but the Puck go Edmondson. Edmondson to Petrie. Turn around right now. Coming out to Biron. Biron's coming now. Stuck uh, by Andy Green. Back the Puck to Pesada. Pesada try to get by in front of Uton. Uton turn around right now. It's chasing by Bellows. Uh, Bellows will now use the board to get the Puck outside the zone. Intercept by the Montreal Canadiens. And then finally, the battle again, again, the ball. Finally, Bellows lose the puck back to Jeff Petrie. And we have six minutes remaining to go in first period. A second period. Emerson's control the puck. Emerson's coming now. Emerson down the puck behind Zorokin. Chasing went up on the Montreal Canadian. Then finally, Allender's going to recover the puck. Basel win the puck all the way back to Hutton. You don't right now use the board, pass the puck all, all a bit too far, intercept on the Montreal Canadian. They go D D. Jeff Petrie is coming out to red line. Petrie pass the puck in the blue uh, red line. Gallagher, bad pass right there. Turn around right now on the Montreal Canadian. Don't play the puck all the way back. Zor uh, Gallagher put some pressure. Zorikin can play the puck. Zorikin can right now, uh, Zorikin can play far with a. <laughs> Far when he passed the puck, the puck go back to get Hoffman. Hoffman lose the puck, recovery by himself, bring the puck to the other side, intercept by Lenders, try to get the puck outside the zone. Both teams right now exchange the puck, and that's pretty much what they do since the beginning of the game. Now, carry Price, recovery puck back to Jeff Petrie, lose the puck right now. Gallagher try to get the puck outside the zone, but Gallagher looking on the pass right there to the side. Montreal's coming on offensive zone, things are coming out. Coming out, pass the puck behind to Hoffman, Hoffman control the puck, lob the puck away on the back end. Gallagher is uh, Try to catch the puck, intercept right now by the Lenders. They're going to get out and again another lob. Look like we play at the tennis uh, tennis match. Now the Montreal try to get a puck around. Back again in the corner. Battle in front of uh, Dobson. Puck on the left side. Fire! And that miss uh, the, hit someone and the puck go all the way back on the net. We have another timeout or whistle at that moment. And that's what we're at at that. <laughs> Ah, très, très très bien, euh, vraiment Karine, pour être honnête avec toi, là, euh, il y a seulement eu 11 lancés, 
Mais il y a eu deux bons arrêts. Après, c'est à peu près ce qu'il y a eu ce soir pour l'instant. Mais encore une fois, on est très content d'avoir le numéro 31 de retour dans, dans le devant le filet. Euh, Dan Hashem, welcome back. Say hi to Colette. We love you, both of you. Thanks to be a part of the show. Go, let's go, Jose Duarte. Uh, that's okay, uh, Danny, Steve. I'm sitting here, Dan. Uh, Steve, uh, un solide coup de pote. Is, uh, again, Zizikas. Bon fun game. Matamor, Dan and the house, the Matamor. Oh, le manque beaucoup, le Matamor. Oui, j'y crois plus. Time out. Hey, bonne fin de game, mon matamor. Euh, yes, sir. Pas de problème. Pour une autre fois, pas beaucoup de lancers sur le gardien de CH. Presque, moi, je vais faire par si tes mains. <laughs> I need to go here. Jake and McAnouy. I, I apologize, Jake. I saw you earlier. And I was trying to insert to Alexi. I, I never insert to Alexi. Uh, hopefully, Alexi is around. Uh, Alexi, uh, come back a little bit later. We're going to insert to your question. And it will be the best we can do for you. And we are waiting now for the face off. Drop back the puck. And that's what we're at. The two teams right now. Uh, like I said, don't know too much at that moment. Face off on the right side of Zorukin at that moment. 432. To go remaining on the second period, 26. 11. Shot. Waiting for the Leisman set up right now, everybody. Winning by the Islanders, but Montreal. Get the puck, Islanders get out of the zone. Montreal, uh, Islanders control the puck right now. Don't pin the puck, intercept by the Montreal Canadian. Don't pin the puck in neutral zone and bring the puck around the carry price. Leave the puck all the way back to Whiteman. Whiteman right now. Whiteman bring the puck to Shoneman. Shoneman leave the puck all the way back uh, at the blue line. A bad play by the Montreal Canadiens. Point right now by the Montreal. They are coming back right now. Uh, it's uh, Evans. Evans down the puck behind the net. Foul. And for this is the cast. The cast recover the puck. Go to the D. And he go all the way back. Intercept by the Montreal Canadiens. Fire! And he hit the uh, 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 save by Zorokin. Zorokin, uh, the puck on the corner. Recovery by Islanders. Rain the Puck to the side, but it's Montreal intercept. Control the puck all the way back, but again, go in front of the net. Finally, Islanders get a puck outside the zone. Again, Islanders not very good, honestly. Uh, tonight, uh, Montreal don't take advantage of that, unfortunately. But the puck go to the left side. Now, Whiteman skating. Whiteman to red, red line, at the red line. Whiteman don't pin the puck right now. As uh, can make a save, the puck go to Barzell. Barzell now set up. Barzell's coming. Try the puck again. Intercept by the Montreal Canadiens. Gone around. Anderson try to get a puck in front of Pelec. Now, intercept right now by Pelec. Pelec in front of Anderson. Anderson can now control the puck right now. Anderson gave the puck for himself. Go back at the blue line. And the puck go outside the zone. The New York Islanders. Uh, Pelec. Pelec bring the puck right now. Now to Paris, Paris in front of uh, the Montreal Canadian, win by Saval, Saval chased by Paris, Saval win the puck, pinched by Pallet. Finally, Montreal get out of the zone, all the way back to right side. Josh Anderson's coming, coming with Caulfield, Anderson's coming looking. Penalty now for the Islanders, Schultz again make a save, the puck do all the way back to Zuski, Zuski at the blue line, back went out by, uh, by Saval, Saval to Romanov, Romanov back at the goal line in front of uh, Garfield, Garfield back to Romanov, to Hoffman, fire! And the puck go over the glass, over the net, and the puck went out winning by the Islanders We're going to be a call for daily penalty and the Montreal Canadiens right now the second time of the night are going to be on the power play I feel the goal I feel it I smell it I love it I want it let's do it power play Welcome back, Montreal right now. Control the pipe, the blue line. Keep the pipe right there. All the back now to Hoffman. Hoffman back to the blue line right there. Back to uh, Schoenemann. Shoot the pipe. Black shot by the defenseman of the uh, Shara. 
Look like Shavah hurt right now in front of the net. Uh, the puck go back to Gallagher, back to Shunneman. Shunneman set up now. Back to the right side, all the way back right. Montreal, bring the puck, go to the line. Gallagher, back to the back to the ash mark. Set up right now. Thing is Pitlick, Pitlick to Shunneman. Shunneman set up right now. Back again. Fire! And the puck block shot right now. They go outside his own part in New York. And the Panthers score again, I believe. I'm not sure he's true or not. Uh, I think four things called second goal of the night. Uberdo also the, uh, with two. Now, now control by the Montreal Canadiens. Try to pass Shinneman. Pass the puck to Hoffman. Hoffman scanning the puck. Hoffman control the puck. Hoffman turn around. Hoffman right now. Keep the puck for himself. Great play by Hoffman. Fire, fire by the Montreal Canadiens. Gallagher right now. Gallagher and bad play by, by, by Gallagher. The puck go outside the zone. The Montreal right now going to reset with one minute to go. Remaining on that. In our top. Welcome back. Uh, we miss you terribly. Uh, hopefully you're doing well. Uh, 54 seconds remaining. Now Montreal set up now the second, the third turn the break out power play. Shannon control back. Drive the puck behind. Control right now by the Montreal. Zuski's coming. Zuski out of the puck to the left side. Zuski bring the puck behind the corner. Chasing right now by the New York Calendar. Zuski right now battle. The puck go to the left side. Coffee try to get back. Zuski bring the puck all the way back. Intercept by the New York Calendars. They are coming right now. A one versus one. They are coming out. Chasing right now by Paris. I believe Bovillier. Show the puck right now. No chance to reach by a uh, prize. The puck turn around. Now, Coffee lose the puck right there. It just a wrap up. Oh, a wrap up, maybe. Should the puck went out over the prize. The puck turned around there. Montreal Conseil have some difficulties on the power play. Back on out to uh, Caulfield. Drive the puck to. Uh, to uh, Divorak, bring the puck right now to Caulfield. Caulfield right now, control the puck. Caulfield to the goal line, change his direction. Bring the puck to Divorak, back to Caulfield. A little bit too far from him. Divorak try to get a puck, bring the puck around to Anderson. And we are even strong. Back to Zuski. Zuski control the puck right now. Still the puck in front of Green. Green pass the puck all the way back to another side. Intercept right now by Brooke Nelson. Montreal try to get a puck, no chance. The puck go outside the zone. And now we are an ever, ever strange. I never start the Glock. I apologize for that one of them because you're only 36 seconds to go. Uh, coach, you forgot the clock. That's all right. Don't worry about that. Uh, the puck goes in the side. Intercept up by the New York and the Chelsea by the Montreal Canadiens. We are still 25 seconds to go. Back again, Petri shoot the puck and miss the net barely. Another shot on the left side. Stop by the defenseman. Turn around by the New York and the Try to get the puck outside the zone. One more time for the Lenders. 15 seconds to go. Petri shoot the puck. Intercept up by the Montreal Canadiens. One more time. Paul Biron. Paul Biron's coming. Paul Biron's going the puck in front of the net. Intercept Zorro can make the glove. Put the glove over the the puck and we have a whistle with 6.3 seconds to go that's what we had at that moment uh, don't go nowhere we have mr andrews coming to join us after the second period that's what we are but they're being with knock you out uh michelle Clizé, uh terry t me too he has gold coming up sure for what in the power play a uh, smell the blood and that's what we had at that moment some pushing went out behind the net uh, anderson i don't know uh jake even talking like this that Florida Panthers take the lead 4-0 with 2 minutes 16. This is almost the end for the Winnipeg Jets this season. They play without Max Shuffley, by the way, tonight. Uh, welcome, uh, welcome, welcome aboard. Islander with only uh, Michael Bassi. Yep. We have right now some call from the referee. I think there's some pushing under his lee. We have a power play right now. Twelve twenty nine. the shot, he said. Thank you for the update. Don't forget to click on the like. That'd be great. Thank you so much, Danny. Appreciate that. That'd be great if you don't mind. Shuffle out of this season. Look like he is, Steve. I did not do the trip with the Winnipeg Jet um, during the weekend. First off, right now on the left side of the Rokin, we have uh, Pajot face to uh, Nick Zuski, winning by Pajot. Win the puck right now, four versus four. Puck in, puck in front of the net is going to be the end of the period, honestly. That's what we had at that moment. <laughs> Here we go, 40 minutes, uh, and Montreal Bell Center, they still score 0-0, zero, zero. zip to zip, uh, and uh, the Islanders have 12 shots, only 4 during the second period, Montreal 30 after 40, 16 shots during the second period, 
One more power play for the Montreal. Not very good on that one over there. Have only um, zero shot or maybe one. That's pretty much what they got. And that's concluded already the summer, uh, the resume of the second period very quickly. That's what we had at that moment. So 0-0 zero, zero after 40 minutes. Uh, Panther all over the jet sieve. Yes, it is uh, at that moment. Um, 30 shot now we got. Uh, from them, uh, price has been okay at beast and Drew Fort. Yep, I agree with you about that. Uh, fourth link score is eight of the season uh, with Uberdo and Giroud got an assist, uh, and that's what they had at that moment. Uh, it's okay. Islanders will come around and be the continent. The Canadian look like uh, Kevin said, possible. We're going to wait for Mr. Andrew to come back. Uh, during the time, we're going to take a, a couple of minute break uh, at that moment. We're going to be back in the next couple of seconds, about two, three minutes. Uh, don't go nowhere. And cheese uh, uh, it. We'll be back in three minutes, uh, Mr. Uh, Andrew. Wait. Uh, and we're going to be a break here for about three minutes. Don't go nowhere. And uh, we're going to get you some music right here. Of course, Mr. Inatap. Uh, you made my day. You made three minutes. Day. We'll be back. You made my day. Oh, day. Oh, you made my day. You made my day. Welcome back, Mr. Mr. Andrew. Thanks to be a part of the show. Um, a little bit, what do you think about the second period? I enjoyed it, actually. Very entertaining. But boy, Sorokin, wow. He is really something, I tell you. But I liked what the Habs were doing. I liked that Armia uh, Evans um, 
who was the third guy on that? Uh, man, I can't remember the third guy. But anyway, that line is looking so good uh, for the Habs. Um, I don't know what. The one thing I don't understand, what the heck is Hoffman and Gallagher doing on the power play? We were yep. coming so yes, close. Some, some problem for that, sure. Uh, Mr. Anything Canada TV, you can go on the sportrp.com. Uh, anything uh, Canada, maybe Kevin uh, in our time can put this there for you. Uh, sportsrp.com is the website. You have to go over there for sure. Uh, let's see what we have. And Fran Francois Pitt said Zorokin is the only reason why the team is debate play for over 500. Yeah, no doubt in my mind. I mean, we would be, in my opinion, if he wasn't in that net, it'd be about four not nabs. No doubt. Because, like I said, I mean, uh, just the Evans, Pitlick, Armia line alone, what they've been generating has been crazy. So, yeah, Sorokin, to me, is the star of the game right there. And Bryce, he's, he's been, like I said, for us, nothing to shake our head at. He's done quite well when he's been tested. Yep. Welcome, Mr. Fonder. Pack. thanks to be a part of the show, Mr. Fonder. We have, yeah, I agree with you. Price is back in the house. Thanks to join us. Welcome. This is the this is the website you can look about this if you want to check anything in sport is all free. Kelly is back. Zeb uh, Monday is young. He can handle it. Uh, he said about that one over there. Um, you know, at, at the end of the day, it's a team. Really, it, 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 it's just like it's two team right now. There's no one to play. Like they just want to get out, right? And yeah. Uh, yeah. with all the respect I have for them, right? Um, just the time to move on to the playoff. Yeah, exactly. But you know, it's not too much. It's just uh, emergency, everything. And you can see that Lander is just hanging there. Um, it could be this game become 1-0. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and uh, that's what I'm worried about because are we squandering our chances? That's what I'm concerned about. You know, like it, all you ha all it's going to take is the Islanders to pop one kind of even a fluky goal, and the way it's been played, the way Sorokin's playing, that's all it's going to take. I think that could be happen about that one over there. I think it could be that reason tonight about that one there. Power second power yeah. play, Montreal struggled. They used an unit number two during the power play, and they did not yeah. move the puck very well uh, between. And then they, you know, they tried with the number two after that, but he said. Uh, Hoffman, Gallagher, um, uh, yeah. you know, when you don't have a really, really good uh, quarterback, that's not help. Yeah, but there are better choices, too. I mean, like I said, they had something going there for a bit, and then all yep. of a sudden they throw those two out, out there, and I don't, I don't understand that. It's just not easy for sure about that one over there. Um Laval, I don't know the score right now. Laval, I'm not on my Twitter account. Laval play uh, and the playoff right now. Try to fight for the uh, oh, for wow. edge. Just I don't know. He's back over there. Primo is back over there. And yeah. um, uh, yes, Zep, you can go for the break. That's not a problem right now. That'd be good. And come back stronger and better. And uh, that'd be good. Um, what do you expect now for the third period? What do Montreal should do? Can maybe change? Um, yeah. And they got to keep going to the net. There's no doubt that they're going to have to, like I seen, you know, there was one play there that Josh Anderson was in front of the net. The only problem, and I think it was a shot from, uh, from Romanoff. Problem was, uh, was that Anderson didn't get in front of the site uh, section of where Sorokin was. He had to get in front of him totally. Instead of standing to the side, something could happen. They're going to have to get in front of him. There's no doubt about it. They got to create some traffic, big time. Yep, uh, I think Keep firing screening. Them, right? I Keep think firing. what I was trying to say, you said it a little bit, is the screening the net. The only way you can bet Zogorukin right now is the rebound with a screening or something like that. Uh, otherwise, right. you're not going they to get close. him uh, all the way like that. Uh, why That's is right. Aris is not playing? I think they're rotating. You know, they're taking a pair at a time each night, it seems to be. I see, I'm see. i notice, noticing that pattern that you've got uh, Weidman and uh, Schooneman seem to come in at the same time, and then it's 
Harris and uh, who's the other? Anyway, whoever he's partnered up, partnered up with comes in the following night. So they seem to be rotating it. Yep. Um, last game, he was struggled. Uh, he lose a lot of battle. Uh, create a couple of turnover. Um, he did not play his best game. I think he doesn't want to burn him also. And mm -hmm. I would not be surprised they play back-to-back -back game to see him maybe tomorrow. But it would yeah. be interesting about that. Um, you know, Montembeau will be back between the pipe tomorrow. I think uh, maybe so. they will bring yeah. back Pit Lake, Pesada out. We'll see. But uh, I think yeah. that's what you try to do at that moment. Uh, Mr. Alan Barnes, welcome aboard. Welcome back. Welcome, Alan. Welcome. <laughs> And uh, we have Mr. RJ. Welcome back. Thanks for joining us tonight. Welcome, RJ. Uh, that's where we are at that moment for that. And um, Florida lead 4-0. Wow. Again, the, the Winnipeg. Nice. Two goal, Huberdo. Two goal, uh, four sling. I think I this them. is the end of uh, Winnipeg. Yeah. Yes, tonight, if they, if they continue to lose tonight, that's it. It's all over. They're out of the picture. No and ifs and buts. Gone. They can forget it. I, I yeah. don't see anything else could happen at that moment for them. Uh, with no. Mark Sheffley out now, did not do the trip, uh, you know. Yeah. And uh, today we have only two games, but tomorrow is going to have a lot of more. Um, yeah. Seems to be going that way. You get you get like twelve or fourteen games one night, and then two two to four the next. And then Jake said that Penta have two goals. He was uh, Dizalu at the game, so they could oh, be wow. six zero. Uh, Broboski oh, make a couple of great saves by the way tonight. Uh, he was really agile, alert. I watched a couple of saves he make. I'm watching right now the, the second period right now. The replay and. the... A couple of times he gets saved very well. The New York Rangers winning 1 0 against the Baltimore Orioles at the top of the six. About that one. Nice. Right there. Good stuff. That's what I like to hear. So that's what we add. Um, what are your expectation now for tomorrow night? Because we have a couple of more minutes to talk about tomorrow night. The Montreal play the Washington Capitals. Oh, that's not a good match for us. I don't like it at all, to tell you the truth. Uh, <laughs> no, I think uh, right now. Yeah, Washington's been rolling, so not a good team time to run into them. So I definitely did think that's a Washington win. They're they're trying to size up their spot, and uh, we're still trying to figure out things. Uh, like I say, if we'd leave some lines alone, I think if you know Pitlick's playing good tonight on that th that line with Evans and Armia, leave that line alone. Stop juggling these guys around now. Let them get some cohesion. We know there's no third guy right now for. For Caulfield and Suzuki, that's going to be have to be an off-season thing. But if you got one line working, let, let it be, you know? The, the mantra as Alan Durst tonight, Washington yeah. Uh, tomorrow. Yeah. Tuesday, the wild. Oh, wow. Gets worse. <laughs> Thursday, uh, the flowers. Yeah, now there's, there's Saturday, one. Saturday, the senator. Okay. Uh, Sunday. The Bruins. Oh, not good. Uh, the Wednesday Rangers. Not good. And the end of the season <laughs> against the Panthers. Yeah, we got two games in there that we might have a shot. The Flyers and the Sens. That's about our only chance. <laughs> I maybe count tonight. That's give them maybe three more W. That's yeah. pretty good. So that, that's if you worry it. about that's them it. to finish 27, 29, don't expect that at all. No. Not a chance. Not with that schedule. The no. only good news Definitely. for me, I would say to you, is when they play maybe the Rangers and the Panthers, maybe those games are going to count for them. <laughs> yeah. So they yeah. may be <laughs> shut down a couple of players over there. Let's hope. Let's hope. But, it's you know, at the same token, it's kind of nice to see them put with a full lineup because I like seeing what they can do. Gives gives us a preview of the playoffs, right? Yep. I agree with you about that one over there, for sure. Uh, that's complete the second third, second prayer. We're we'll going to see you a little bit quicker after the game. We're we'll going to talk a little Rock bit about fingers. what's going on. But um, we'll see how the Montreal will respond, honestly. Uh, maybe could you have only one goal tonight. I would say the first goal make its friend, but maybe that will be the only one tonight. It, it's looking that way. It's yep. looking like a one nothing game. Yeah. 
All right, I will see you in a bit. Thank you again, Mr. Mr. Andrew Lepage, okay. the insider of the Hockey Mansion Live Show for the Montreal Canadiens. We're going to see him after the third period for the post-game Montreal. We're going to get now prepared for the third period. Uh, thank you, Nicola, to remind me all the time. You are the, my, <laughs> I'm always expect you to tell me when we restart to make up, uh, to finalize my interview with Mr. Um, Andrew uh, for that one over there. Here we go. I just got a bug, a bug bothering me for the last 20 minutes. Uh, I got him very badly. Patrick Finn, welcome aboard. Don't forget to click on the like. Welcome back, Mr. Nooner. Um, you know, we have a couple more minutes. Who is going to score? Who is going to score the first goal of the night tonight? Who do you believe is going to score the first goal of the night? Uh, And the, and the winner of the first goal tonight, you win a, a, a car uh, from Mattel. You have a choice to pick the red or the yellow one. It's from uh, uh, 1986, I believe, a, a car from a Mattel. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, cat! Cat B in the house. Chase Green, welcome back. Chase Green with Mr. Austin Matthews. Love it, buddy. Hot take said Matt Martin. Matt Martin, uh, yes, Chase, possible. Matt Martin. Uh, would be interesting to see that. Uh, Josh Bailey for Jake McKenwee. Cold Caulfield for the Montreal Canadian for Patrick. Uh, hey, Kat, how you doing? Kat, hopefully you're ready. Happy Eastern for everybody in the chat. Don't forget, guys, click on the likes. Uh, Danny T said Cold Caulfield. Very quiet, Cold Caulfield, the last two games after he have a, a straight a full goal. Uh, and after I will go with uh, Joel Armia. And um, Patrick said Caulfield. Uh, Josh Bailey will score. For Kelly. Suzuki for Jose Duarte. Coffee gonna score for the Avs, Patrick Fan. And Kelly said for the Montreal Suzuki. You're welcome, Kat. Same to you, my friend. Uh, we went to my uh, Nuno and Nuno house today. We have fish. It was really good. Uh, awesome, Kevin. Face up at the neutral zone. Thank you for joining us tonight. Uh, enjoy the third period. <laughs> Jeff Petrie and now, control the puck, Ben and Ned, chasing one up on your calendar, Petrie and now, change the direction with that, Petrie lose the puck right now, recovery on your calendar, staying in direction, now Thompson bring the puck to the left side, Thompson control the puck right there to the blue line, chasing one up by the Palmieri, turn around by Thompson, Thompson right now, and find the net on the back door, he turn around, wrap up, Lose the puck right there. The puck turn around. After a turnover by Jeff Petrie, the turn around. DDD right there. Back to ball to the back door. It's going to be uh, Pelek. Pelek's run out with the puck. Drew's the board. Pass again to uh, Palmieri. Palmieri's coming to the back end. Palmieri's turn around. Palmieri wrap up over there in front of the net. And he missed the net belly. The Montreal struggle right now is again. Carfield, Zuski don't know what to do right now. They're looking around. Zuski does not help. Bring the puck behind the net. If in the lead, Islander is going to change the players. It's still a four versus four. Four versus four. Net left on Medici by today. I have the ring for 93 on my hand. I saw that. Net, congratulations. The puck on around over there. Turn it by Jake Evans. Recovering for the Paris. The puck go all the way back on the defensive zone. Chasing right now. And the uh, Islanders to bring the puck on Montreal Canadiens. We are playing right now four versus four. The puck going for the net. Uh, Intercept now by the Montreal Canadiens, but still winning by the Islanders. Turn around right now in front of the net. And the puck turn around by Romanov. Romanov bring the puck to Jake Evan. Evan right now bring the puck around the board. Recovery by Savard. Savard back to Romanov or 
at uh, J. Kevin at the blue line. J. Kevin's killing with the red lines. Coming to the blue line. Contre the puck. Kick out the puck to Bitlick. Bitlick getting the puck outside too far from Sabal. Sabal have to go backwards. And now you have new players coming for Islanders. And the Montreal also applied two new players with 10 seconds to go. And now the puck go back to Romanov. Romanov set up now. And bad play again by Romanov. Turn around by the Montreal Canadiens. Chasing the puck by Hoffman. Use the puck right there by Sabal. Sabal trying to get the puck to uh, Romanov. Romanov control the puck right now. Romanov keep the puck. Turn around. Waiting right now. Skating with a red line to the blue line. And kick out the puck right now to Gallagher. Run the puck around the board. Chasing right now by Lenders. Keep the puck in front. Couple thrown right now to the blue line. Intercept by the Lenders. Now coming almost at two versus one. Great play by Jeff. Petri ran the puck around the board, all the way back, intercept right now by Shara de Blanc. Ran the puck behind the net at the uh, Montreal Canadian, intercept by Nelson. The puck goes outside his own, Montreal attacking right now. At 3 versus 2, kick out the puck to Altman. Fire! Miss the net completely. The puck turn around and it go all the way to the net. We have a whistle. And that's what happened. And Mike Altman missed completely the net at that moment. Parent on made food, always good. I wish an attack. Welcome, Nicola. Uh, uh, welcome, uh, it was beautiful, not exciting. Uh, Kelly, no, no, what did you mean when you said role change? Or do you know I have no use? Okay, the grand to the prize, uh, Mark Bellil. Uh, welcome back about that one over there. Face up now on the left side uh, of the Zorokin, uh, Zizikas in front of Ziz, uh, Ziski, now winning by the but winning by Zuski, ran the puck around the board. Carfield in front of the net, no chance. Turn around, went out by Lenders. Get out of the puck. They are coming at Lenders. And most are two versus two. The puck went out by Belly. Belly fired the puck. Missed the net. Rebound to the left side. The puck going in front of the net. Chasing went out. Great diving for the Montreal Canadian to save the maybe a chance right there. The Montreal's coming now on the set. Turn around, went out by New York Lenders. They are coming back. Barely down the puck behind a price. Uh, Price tried to play the puck, ran the puck around the board for Whiteman. We come back to Zizki. Zizki skating to the blue line. Coming to the red line. Zizki control the puck. Drive the puck to the right side. All the way back to Coffin in the back door. Intercept went out by Hutton. Hutton in front of the Anderson. Chasing the puck went out by uh, Barzan. Intercept by the Montreal Canadiens. Turn around again by the New York Islanders. And the puck go to Matt Martin. Matt Martin waiting right now. Keep the puck in neutral zone. Don't throw the puck. But he finally gave the puck back to Ramenov. Ramenov went back in. Ran the puck around. Chase him by the Montreal Canadian. It pissed up. No chance for pissed up. Puck turn around right now. Go back to on the defensive zone. Savard right now with the puck. Back to Ramenov. Go to Constance right now. Skating with the puck. Ramenov back to uh, pissed I believe. And the Florida just scored, I believe. It's fifth of the year. Uh, fifth of the night. 5 0 at the beginning of the third period. Now it's Mas Mason Marshman score for the Florida Panthers. Now the Florida Panther, uh, the Islanders go DD. Intercept by the Montreal Canadian. Passed over. Biro, shoot the puck, miss the net. Again, uh, the Montreal Canadian miss the net completely all the time. Uh, and uh, that's what we add uh, with a face off on the right side. Uh. Well, telephone, maybe in an attack, call me. Hey, in attack, what you want? Call one Florida Panthers. Great play by Whitman. Uh, and I forget to put. Uh, welcome back, Moisin. Uh, reste tranquille, on va te garder, mon homme. Uh, Analytic war is great. Uh, the puck winning went out by the New York Islanders. Checking went out by the left side. Montreal attacking, so we're going to make another save. The puck goes around the net. Joel Armia right now control the puck. Armia back to Pitlick. Pitlick to the blue line. Intercept went out by the Montreal Canadiens. All the way back behind. Pitlick changed the direction. Pitlick control the puck. Pitlick ran the puck around the board. Intercept went out by uh, Shara. Maybe O. Thompson. Still by Armia. The blue line. He caught the puck. And then still lose the puck. And then there's a breakaway. A 2 versus 0. 2 0. A 3 versus 0. Back door. Shoot the puck. A score! A turnover by the Montreal Canadian, Joel Edmondson and the New York Islanders take the lead. 1-0. Carey Price could not do anything about that over there. 3-0. Three, three, I'm talking 3-0. Three, three people. Three players. A turnover by Joel Edmondson. And that, that opened the door. It was Shoneman, by the way. I apologize, Shoneman. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Hey. 
And we have to restart again. Uh, let's do it again. Uh, we'll see if I can come back tonight. Uh, Uh, one of the two light. Thank you so much, everybody, for the 100. The park go to Islanders. Turn around by the Montreal Canadian. Pack by Alfman. Alfman's control the park now. Alfman in the fence is on. Turn around right there. Down the park behind the net. Uh, all the way back to Gallagher. Lead the park to uh, Edmondson. Run the park the blue line. At the back end for the Montreal. Still the park right now by Alfman. Shoot the park. Intercept by the Islanders. I turn right now. Control the park in front of Gallagher. Bring the park D to D. They go to reset right away over there. And they go dump it apart on the defensive zone. And that's what we had at that moment. Uh, the park go back to Carey Price. Carey Price go D to D to Emerson. Emerson behind the net. Uh, keep the park right there. Emerson control the park. And skating with the park. Emerson long stretch pass. Tip of the Montreal Canadian. Chasing went out by uh, the Montreal. Uh, win the battle in the corner. Bring the park behind the net. Montreal keep the park deep in the zone. And they try to get around uh, by Edmondson, uh, by Anderson, run the puck around and Pel uh, Pulak. Pulak bring to Pelech. Pelech went out behind his Orokin, skating with the puck, try to get a pressure by the Montreal. Finally, they get a puck outside the zone, but the puck go all the way back in the stand. We got another whistle with 14, 19 to go remaining on the third period. Uh, Emerick, uh, you cannot show the game. No, Emerick, uh, you have to go to um, sports. Point com. Oops. RP point com. Park right now, go back behind the net. Islanders control the puck. Thompson shoot the puck. He scores. And the Islanders score the second goal of the game. It's 2 0 for the Islanders. Um, Thompson, second goal up for the Islanders. A great shot over the blocker, below the blocker. And that way, the Islanders take the lead 2 0. Wow. No fun now anymore. Uh, Danny, you can put him out now. Not put in the time. I'll just remove him completely. That's it. We don't need him anymore. Uh, the puck went out losing for the Montreal Canadian. Bring the puck to the neutral zone. It's coming out by, um, by Pitley. Pitley ran the puck around the board. So we can make a save. It turned around, went up by New York Canada's coming out of the puck. Uh, and they are coming back on defense and offensive zone. Keep the puck on the side. Or are we back to a pillow? Set yourself by the Montreal Canadian. Try to get the puck outside the zone. Finally, they did. The puck turned around by Jake Evan. Evan controlled the puck around. Keep the puck for himself. Jake Evan keep the puck for him. All the way back to the blue line. Evans went out. By him bring the puck all the way back behind the net to Pet Lake. No chance for the Montreal to keep the puck. Finally, no, back in our Armia. Armia, we have back door. I don't find that. Sorensen make a save. Another save. Rebound. Montreal shoot the puck. And hit the blocker by the defenseman. Come around. Zorro can make another big save. And the Montreal attacking Shunneman right now. Pass to the right side. Go back to Armia. I'm back to Shunneman. Shunneman lose the puck. And the puck go outside the zone. That's Shuren. That shuriken is looking great tonight. Uh, about that, he's really good tonight. Uh, um, the puck go back to the left side, come back around the board, intercept by Emerson. Emerson turn the puck behind the net. Uh, all the way back to Islanders. Islanders go back on the way to the defensive zone. Pipe Petri Petri pass the puck and find the net. Uh, they go all the way back, turn around right now, battle in the corner by Evans. I have Hoffman shoot a puck on the one-timer. 
as Duncan make another save, turn around by Mike Hoffman, back to Petri, fire! Black shot went out by Pajot, turn around by Hoffman, Hoffman to Petri, fire again, Montreal, Zorokin make another save, the puck goes outside the zone, battle went out by Bouvillier, I believe, and Petri recovery, it's Palmieri, Palmieri's coming now in front of Petri. Now Palmieri control the puck went out, try to get a puck and lose his edge, intercept went out, don't peep on the Montreal Canadian, no icing, chasing went out, Perez and Anderson, and joining by Jeff Petri, the puck go behind the net, and Petri winning the puck, Petri went out, bring the puck to Josh Anderson, behind the net, Consist attacking went out, Petri Anderson try to get a puck, Zorokin make a save, turn around by Pelic, Pelic went out, full hands, the Islander off tire right now, the puck go to under the side, battle went out, pinched by the Montreal Canadian, finally the puck go outside the zone, a little bit too far for Romanov, and the puck turn around by the Montreal Canadian, Romanov skating with the puck, Romanov score, long stretch by the neutral zone, all the way back to Josh Anderson, the puck at the back ends, and finally, at the net, but no chance. But the puck recovery went out by the Montreal. Try to get a puck in front of Zurichin. Intercept went out. The puck go back all the way back to Saval. Saval ran the puck around the board. The Islanders, Josh Anderson, try to get a puck. Go back to Carfield or Callagher. And then finally, the puck intercept by the New York Islanders. And they're going to go around. But now they lose the puck right there. Just get to Carfield. Carfield turn around. Carfield try to get a puck. Carfield lose the puck. Finally, the puck is outside by the New York Islanders. The puck right there, controlling, you know, by the Montreal Canadiens, they consider attacking 36 shots, zero can, unbelievable, in front of the pipe for the New York Canadiens. The puck all the way back to Savard at the red line. Get the puck to Biron, lose the puck, puck the gun corner. Andy Green bring to Udon, all the way back to Bellows. Bellows trying to get the puck outside the zone. Finally, he did, recovered by the Montreal Canadiens. It's Biron, Biron to Savard, long the puck by the Montreal Canadiens, chase him now. And the battle in the corner, the Islanders struggle all the way. Montreal cannot put the puck behind the Zorokin. But they cannot give up so far. The puck go in front of Zorokin, all the way back at the blue line. Petrui cannot keep the puck, down the puck, uh, offside Dele, and they go all the way back on the in front of the Islanders. They go to reset their break out. Uh, all the way back, D to D. We don't right now bring the puck all the way back. Another D to D, and then finally Islanders come into the neutral zone, dumping the puck behind uh, Carey Price, but it's the blue line. The puck go all the way back on the defensive zone of the Islanders. They go D to D, and they go to get at the neutral zone. Great back controlled by Jeff Petrie, the cap control. Finally, the puck go behind Carey Price, leave the puck right now to Emerson. Use the ball by Bellows. Finally, Petri bring the puck to the left side. Great play by the Montreal. They are coming in as a result. It's Joel I believe. It dropped the puck right there to Jake Evans. The puck to the left side. Mamin score for the Panthers. I believe now it's 6 to 1 over there. The puck to the owner of the side. Break in front of the net to Emerson. Emerson to Petri. Uh, to Armia. Arma to Petri now. Shoot the point for the net. Jake Evans for the rebound. Stick by the New York Islanders. Fire Petri. Black shot by the Islanders. The puck go all the way back in front of Price. No icing. Price play a puck right now. Drive to Emerson with less of about a little bit over 9 minutes. 38 shot for the Montreal Canadiens. That's what we had at that moment. Uh, the turn around right there and by the Montreal Canadiens. Save right now by Whiteman. Fire again missed the puck by Montreal. The puck all the way back on the neutral zone by Chris Whiteman. He going to reset right there. The puck turn around by the Montreal. Chris Devorak recovered the puck. Pass the puck to the side. Fire again. So again, make a save. The block go behind him. And nobody can put the puck in the net now. Recovered by Pajot. Pajot's coming out of the zone. Coming in the first season. Draw the puck behind. Palmieri shoot the puck over uh, at Price. The puck all the way out. I'm going to have another whistle, but again, another, another big save as Zorokin. This is the 39 shot for the Montreal Canadian. Alan, go, just go. Come on, abs, go. Um, hi, Michael Hua. Welcome aboard. Thanks for joining us tonight. We have a TV timeout.
Here we go. Uh, welcome back, Mr. Dan O'Connor. So how does coffee look? Um, they not looking great. A uh, couple of strength, but not much, Dan. Um, the last couple of games, he struggled like Nick Zizky overall, but uh, we would like him to be more active for sure. They'll have a great shot tonight, like an amazing shot. Uh, I think I have two shots on the net so far. Uh, D.A.G., welcome back, Mr. D.H. Uh, not too bad, the age. He did not get busy a lot. 15 shots. He got um, four opportunities for the Lenders. But one of them, it was a three versus zero. He cannot do anything. The last goal, it was a one from Thompson, a little bit over the blocker. He could make something good about that by the first game of the night. So uh, that's the reason why about that. Uh, that it looks small. Uh, Alan Matembo are doing better for a lot of less money. Zef... Uh, but uh, Zeb, you not you never compare the 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 eight point the the save percentage per game, Zeb. Uh, you're never going to get satisfaction about that one over there. Montembeau it was what eight three nine the next the last game about that. You have to look about what's going on. Who can stop a three versus zero Zeb and hockey? Which goaltender right now? How many the chance a three versus zero a goaltender make a save Zeb? Not many. So I believe for me, Carey Price, I have a good night so far. Uh, you, he make the team better around him. That's the reason behind that. And sometimes you don't have always looking for that. It's just one step like minus four over skin two days ago. Is it a bad player? No, he can make too much money. It's minus four. You, you qualify right now only one game. And right now it's better to I'll just trade him. Let's play with Montembeau for the next five years, Zef. Let's see what's going to happen with Zef. Zef with Montembeau. Let's go with Montembeau for the next five years. We'll see what's happening with Montembeau. It'll be great. We're going to make the final with Zef. Zef with Montembeau. Unbelievable. Paul Callaghan, welcome, Mr. Paul. Thanks to be part of the show. Yep, you have to give credit for Thompson, by the way, the age on that shot. All right, Zef, carry price is not good. That's it. We'll move on. Let's go, Montembeau. Kim Primo and Montembo next year. Let's go trade Allen and Price. And let's go with Montembo and... Of course, Kaden Primo next season. Now the puck goes all the way back to the left side, intercept by Allenders, stomping the puck all the way back behind it. My Primo, uh, Price. Price turn around right now, intercept by Allenders, coming the puck. Great shot, great save by Price. Turn around right now by Allenders, Price foul, and the puck goes all the way side. We have uh, no penalty for Allenders. I think Price left his edge. The puck go outside the zone. They go all the way back right now. Montreal Pitlick, Pitlick's coming around. Pitlick shoot the puck. He hit the pose. Pitlick just is the boat over the shoulder of the glove of Sorokin. Nothing go for the Montreal Canadiens tonight. Uh, it's a Sorokin night, to be honest with you. What a save. And then Pitlick just hit the pose. Uh, that's what we had at that moment. I think Renaud has a account. Uh, go ads, go Michel Cloutier. The puck turn around right now. Now I'm attacking by Montreal Canadiens. Turn around by Jake Evans. Jake Evans control the puck. Kill the puck right there. Bring the puck to Gallagher. Gallagher to the blue line. Go back, DJ, ça va to Ramana, Franma shoot a shot, hit by Gallagher, the puck missed the net completely, turn around by the lenders, intercept by Ramana, Ramana fire the puck, as the can make another save, Gallagher recover the puck, back to Ramana, Ramana intercept by New York Islanders, bring the puck to neutral zone, don't pick the puck behind, and now Barza's coming to the right side of uh, the price, shoot the puck over, price make two backs, uh, another save, turn around right now, the Islanders, uh, Bellows try the puck to Paris, Paris try to get a puck, run the puck around, Paris battle with now with Savard, Savard Paris Badal, which one Badal, each one of them. Finally, turn around by Thompson in front of the net. Paris Serval to Ramanaf. Ramanaf trying to get a puck. Intercept by the New York Islander. So Bellows right now in front of Serval. Changing right now by Ramanaf. And Ramanaf is going to have a penalty for tripping, I believe, or pit lick. And we're going to have a two a penalty, a power play for the.
41.16. The shot at that moment. Uh, the jet will play golf, voilà. Yep, Alan, I agree with you about that one over there. Uh, Paul Galligan, uh, Galligan, over time, not tonight, uh, obviously. Uh, what about Zorokin? I thought he was been strong, faced a lot of chance, a high dangerous fan. Also, do you think he's a top 10 game late right now? Yes, completely about that one over there. The H uh, is a great, great, um, great goaltender. I believe he's unbelievable so far. Uh, he's the reason right now why they're, the reason tonight they are winning. We have a TV timeout. We're going to wait. Uh, run out too bad at the back. Then go so I can one be in the playoff. Uh, yep, I agree with you about that one there. He need that anyway at the back. If if uh, when when he painted something, they need to be sure. Um by the way, um Thompson, Thompson for the Islanders have 11 goals this season. Unbelievable. The defenseman for them. Wow. Power play for the New York Islanders. I'm going to try to put the goal up. Pitlick, two minutes for tripping. Uh, Pitlick does not do well anymore. The puck right now winning by the Montreal Canadiens. Rim the puck around the board. Montreal always in the puck all the way back. Don't pick the puck on the right side. Zorokin recovery by the New York Canada. Thompson rim the puck. Chase by the Warrack. Uh, the turn around right there by the New York Canadiens. Uh, Uh, he step up really is going to be the top 4D for them for sure at the age. How about that? The puck turn around went out by New York Calendars, ran the puck around, and the serve went out by the New York, and Thompson bring the puck to the right side. And keep the puck for Barzell, I believe. They keep up all the way back on the ash mark, control the puck right there, keep the puck looking, and shed the puck in front of the net, uh, tip the net, no chance at that moment. Uh, the puck go all the way back uh, uh, to the to the side. And now Anders attacking right now. Fire the puck and Price make another save. All the way back to Nelson. Nelson right now controlling the ash mark. Nelson keep the puck for himself. Bring the puck to the blue line. All with, with Thompson. Thompson right now looking. Thompson to the back right there. I think to Barzell. Barzell's coming now. Fire the puck. Price makes a one-two rebound. And then the puck go outside his own part of Montreal Canadian with 48 seconds remaining and less of five minutes to go on the third period. And the best, thank you so much, Elias Sirwa Kote. Merci beaucoup. The puck went out to Alan's, uh, to Pat Pulak. Pulak bring the puck to the left side. Unit number two for the New York Islanders. Kill the puck at the goal line. Bring the puck all the way back to Pulak. Pulak walk in in the middle. Looking right now. Looking for Josh Bailey. Bailey went out. Chen with Bovillier. Bailey's coming to the right side of the prize. Turn around. Kill the puck with 10 seconds to go. Bailey reset again. Shoot the puck in front of the net. Miss the net. Recovered by Palmieri. Palmieri bring the puck behind the net. Now chasing by the Montreal Canadiens. Somehow try to get the puck in front of the Bovillier. And now uh, Perisic won the party, and the puck go out back in the corner. Battle right now with three. The power play is over, and we're going to play Evan Strain with five versus five. Number two, get out of the zone right now. Pass the puck to the left side, all the way back to the right. Fire! Coming up, the ping the puck, no chance to reach the goal. Then there, stopped by the defenseman, by the New York Islanders. Now the puck go to the corner. Just keep bringing the puck all the way back to Caulfield. Caulfield in the backwards. Caulfield control the puck. Caulfield fire the puck. Uh, Missed the net over. Uh, Zorokin, back again to Romanov. Romanov back to Carfield. Uh, Zuzki, Zuzki control the puck. Winner. Keep control for himself. Bring the puck to the right side. Schoenemann, back to Carfield. Carfield back to Zuzki, no chance. Intercepting up by Lenders. And this is why you get the puck outside. Schoenemann intercept. Schoenemann control the puck. Schoenemann for the net to Zuzki. Zuzki control the puck in the corner. Zuzki turn the direction right there. And still the puck by Green. Green to Pelek. Pelesh went out in the corner. Battle the puck, and Ellen is going to use the board to back the puck all the way on the neutral zone. Reset by 
Adil dit par le mentor canadien, Shoneman, droit de parc behind, tout ce qui, ce qui est looking now, ce qui est contre le parc, ce qui est bringing back to Shoneman. We have three minutes remaining, <coughs> remaining on the third period. Back again to Shoneman, Shoneman control, qui le parc to the blue line, cool field, cool field to Shoneman, Shoneman is coming down, looking, fire the park, stop as a hurricane, the park go behind the net, ce qui recover the park, back to the right side, Islanders struggle right now, and for the net, the hurricane right now, another shot again, finally, the Islanders lob the park outside the zone, all the way back, And uh, behind the goaltender, Price, we have a whistle. This is going to be Carly right there. 42 shots for the Montreal Canadiens. That's what we at at that moment. And that's pretty much what we have to do. Harry, welcome back. The park right now, go back to uh, Price, going to the Empty net. 6-1 Florida over the Winnipeg. And now we try to go 3 versus 6 uh, versus 5. Senate coach is young, but again, gone up. Uh, I will assume based on his comment on when he plays to play insane in that system. Yeah, that's a bit this. Uh, the H. <coughs> the puck went out. <coughs> Winning by Gallagher. Putting the puck to the side. Thompson ran the puck around the board. Intercept by the Montreal Canadiens, the blue line. And now go to the left side. Now Montreal dumped the puck behind the net all the way back to Pitlick. Pitlick control the puck behind the net. Battle right now with three, four players. Chelsea right now with Gallagher. Gallagher trying to get a puck. The puck to under the side. Now the puck goes uh, to his guest. No chance. The puck keeps up Montreal. Bring the puck to the ash mark. Keep the puck all the way back. I think it's off men. Drive the puck to the left side. Looking to be a, a gun with the net. Shoot the puck for the net. Miss the net barely. The puck goes to the other side. It's... Um, P3, P3 ran the puck in front of the net, so we can make a save. We go with a whistle at that moment. Send the coach in Shannon Montreal. Yeah, I agree with you at the age. It's just like the last couple of games is a little bit difficult about that one over there. Bruno Meta, welcome aboard. Thanks for joining us tonight, Bruno. Thank you, RJ. Yes, Harry, tomorrow is the Washington Capitals. Uh, go abs, go Michael. 3-1 the Blue Jays uh, over the our, uh, things Baltimore tonight. Uh. Uh, <laughs> maybe. Here we go. Montreal receiving now. Anderson ran the puck around to Pitlick. Pitlick to Hoffman. Hoffman right now trying to get a puck in the corner. Jesse Pagelega. Anderson lose the puck. And others get out of the zone. And others coming back. Shoot the puck. And the boot. Gold by the New York Islanders. Brooke Nelson, I believe, score is 3 to 0. And empty net. Uh, Island score. <laughs> This is the end of the game. 3-0 uh, for the Islanders. Uh, Carrie Price go back between the pipe. Uh, Bruno Marta. No. Uh, je crois avec ça. Bruno um, avec my account, Danny. Uh, Saint Paul. The puck went out by the Montreal Canadiens. They're going to go under the side. They'll go all around behind the net. They'll bat to Shenemann. Shenemann used the board. Recovery went out by the Montreal Canadiens. Don't put the puck all the way back in the neutral zone. 
and they go all the way back on the left side of the park, go behind the net, uh, recovery by the Montreal, use the board, go DG, and the Montreal called Whiteman, Whiteman pass the park, went out, Montreal's coming, but Biron's coming to the red line, to the blue line, Biron control the park, shoot the park, uh, completely intercept by the New York Islanders, the park go outside the zone, no, and the park go all the way, a black shot by the New York Islanders, and they're going to use the board to get a park outside the zone, and he's going to dump in the park all the way back. Uh, obviously, Mike Bassi is a hockey player, but as a person, he's so much more impactful. My mom and him are the same age, and they were talking for hours about share life experience. I agree with you, TH. We talk a lot about him today. Now we have Emerson and Matt Martin right there. And right there, Jordan Emerson, I don't know what he's trying to do. And no, no hit right there. It's just like a, a WWF at that moment. And Emerson tried to push Emerson. And uh, Emerson tried to get up with Matt Martin. And we have right now two fight, uh, two jab over and nothing else. I agree with you about that. Should be an interesting game in Ottawa. Toronto, my grandson would be there with his dad. Oh, wow, Michael. Congratulations. Oh, Sky Hard, welcome aboard. Thanks to be a part of the show. Sky Hard, thanks to be a part. Thanks to stop by. Yep, locker room. Uh, face off right now on the right side of the Zorokin. And we're going to get reset right there. And they go all the way back uh, on the other side. Shoot a puck in front of the net. Zorokin make a save. And the Islander dump in the puck all the way back. Uh, all the way on the 30 seconds to go, 43 shots for the Montreal Canadian. And Zorokin was the, the dominator of this game tonight. Uh, no, not tonight, Sky. We got beat by a great, great uh, goaltender tonight. Sorry to hear that, Ari. The puck went out to the left side. Montreal attacking right now. One more time. Nine seconds to go from that. Uh, Zorro can make another save with a pad. And it's going to be the end of this game. Thank you, Michael. The end of the game. Uh, it will be celebrate with Carey Price. Uh, first game with the Montreal Canadiens. Not good enough for the Montreal to win tonight 3-0. Uh, happy to see, uh, of course, carry Price between the pipe. Uh, and then uh, on the flip side, I think tonight Zero can play for Michael Bussey. And uh, well done. Everybody from the Montreal go one by one to carry Price and congratulate him. And glad to see carry Price right now come back on the locker room. And... Uh, Salute the people, the players, everybody. And the, the, the Aston call for the New York Islanders, just say hi to him. Um, wow. He's the second star of the night, by the way, Carey Price. At 3 0, at what it is, uh, this, I thought you guys have a good goalie. Uh, that magic 20. Uh, have a good night, DH. Uh, Dan Asher, Mike Bussey, Classy players. Not too bad, Terry. The three star, Thompson, the third star, second star, Carey Price, first star, Zoe Kin. Exactly the age. We talked about this earlier, like the fact, you know. You cannot ask her for more for that. Uh, Zoe can play like a top 10 for 4 million cal cal ip. Sorry to hear that, Ari. That's all good, Mark.
6-1 and the Florida Panthers right now with 1.13 to go over there. We're going to have Mr. Andrew stop by to say hi and talk a little bit about the game for tonight and this is what we have to do. Let's dive in and invite Mr. Andrew Lepage. Welcome back, Mr. Andrew. How's it going, Coach? Pretty How's good, everybody? pretty good. Um, then I turned uh, on our favor, three goals, one an empty net at the end. First goal, Zach Parizé's 15 of the season, following by Nate Thompson. It was a 3-0, a turnover by Corey Shoneman. And then the second goal, Thompson, uh, maybe Price could have it. Secondly, it was a good shot for Thompson. Uh, then yeah. the empty net after that. What is the impression about the third period? Yeah, that pretty much, I mean, the, we definitely came out. I was proud of our effort. We, we were definitely, you know, trying to get back into it. So it wasn't a lack of effort. I'll say that. I'll give them credit. Uh, really, we ran into a hot goaltender. Sorokin was the story. No and ifs and buts, but Armia had a, an awesome game for us. I, I was very happy with his game. I was very happy with Evans and Pitlick. Uh, that line just really stood out. No doubt, I don't understand, like Hoffman, I don't know why they just don't sit him a game or two. Um, he just, he seems to hurt us more than help us. I think at some point, I'll have to say, I have 18 games with zero goal so far. Um, yeah, he's so not looking good. He just doesn't fit. He just doesn't fit in Montreal. So that's a difficult time, but, uh, you know, zero can please me before the guy between you and me uh, tonight. And uh, yeah. that's maybe what happening. And, uh, you know, at the end of the day, yeah, no losing people tonight. Uh, exactly. If the Islander win, Michael Bassi celebration. If Carey Price win, it's Carey Price win. If whatever Carey Price lose tonight, he did not lose. We win someone no. recovery from a long battle of many years and find where he is. Right now, he's on peace uh, with himself. Exactly. He's happy. It's all about his wife, his kid. That's most yeah. important thing about the most important thing. He come back, he show he can play hockey. That's all about. So, he looked uh, a lot better than I expected, so I was quite happy with his performance. He he looked a lot better for being out that long. I was quite content with it myself. Yeah, exactly about that one over there. So for me, uh, you know, I'm not going to blame anybody here for the Montreal. Uh, yeah. You have to give credit. Hot goalie. The, that kid was good. That kid was good. <laughs> Yep. Yeah, and I, I think it's great for what he said. Um, the age, honestly, both team uh, won the only time and spot what I wish again would end as, as a tie. Yeah, exactly about this the age. Um, yes, totally. That's the most important thing is the health of the players. Whatever you, we don't want anybody sure. help. We don't want anybody of you know trouble if you turn that. Uh, King of this said. Uh, I think I was probably the best game for we lost this year with no chance on that three zero. The second goal was just a perfect shot. Other than we have an AV advantage of fancy zone, a lot of that game. That's a little bit resume the tonight. But I, I want yeah. to give credit for Zorikin, right? But oh, Montreal for sure. don't have that kind of instinct of scoring or that kind yeah. of snapper, the 40, 50, the Matthews or something like that, right? They have two power play, one in first period, one in second period. If the scores on the power play, one of the two changes the game. It's completely another game at that moment. Yeah, exactly. And, um, and they've they shot forty three, but not enough to score. So um, look at how many look at how many uh, missed missed shots on the net. I mean, they're missing by quite uh, a bit. You know, that's another <laughs> great point. How many times they hit around? They never hit the net. It's just a flip over. I would be surprised exactly. to see how many attempts shot they got tonight. Exactly. Have a good night, Danny. Have a good uh, night, Danny. Six-one final score in Florida Panthers. I'm not shocked. I'm not shocked there, but that's uh, that they're sending a message. Yep, no doubt. Roger Bouchard said, "Let's face it, an horrible, an horrible team." Uh, Matt said, "I feel bad for Price. His team let him down." Yeah, but you know what? They put out the effort. I'll give them that. They did. They looked better than the last two games. We got to give some credit to them. They, you know, there's, there's just, I don't know. I think we need to practice on a shooting clinic. You know, put the puck on the net. You know. Yep. <laughs> uh, I don't. I don't think so. Um, I, I, Matt, I would say I don't think that they let it down. I think Montreal played no. better. 
compared to the last game. Yeah. But not a yeah. great because Alan Doe was not there tonight. Alan Doe was no. not like amazing tonight. He failed away to Sorokin win. Sorokin won the game. Um, Sorokin you know, won the game. Um, and yeah. after that, but they try and that's another work. Yeah. Uh, At least they try. can make a couple of good saves, by the way. Uh, Altman is not an NHL player. He's struggling right now, Roger. Um, I don't know why to tell you more. He's like 18 game right now, zero goal. Um, yeah. You look like he's lost right now. Oh, for sure, for sure. I, I, I seen, I heard an interview done with uh, Aaron Ward. Uh, I think it was yesterday, and he really nailed it on the head. He said, Hoffman, from what, because he kind of knows him a bit, from what I understand when he was in Boston, uh, he got, kind of got to know him, and he said, Hoffman plays that uh, impression that he's giving you a, a, a big effort, and really, he's not. He just makes it look like it by wailing his arms and stuff. So, you know, I, he said, like he said, he doesn't fit there in Montreal, no doubt. Uh, Matt said that they let that break away too many missed shots. Uh, they don't let that break away, Matt. Matt it was a turnover. Shoneman tried to shoot yeah. a puck. He had a, ton of, a block shot. So they not let that. It's a turnover. No. It's just part of yeah. the game. And, you know what I mean? They just drop the puck yeah. and let it go. They tried to shoot a puck. He had a turnover. And they come back yeah. three zero, Matt. Uh, yeah. Renou said that can Noah, Noah Thompson win the Norris soon. I don't see Noah Thompson win the Stanley uh, No, no, not anytime soon. Now, he have 11 goals. I I know that, right? But the, yeah. that now to win the Norris, I don't you see You need that. more than that. You need more than that. <laughs> Me for Bussy. Good night, Michael. Thanks for joining us tonight. Uh, Bonne nuit. I'll finish the show. Henry, have a good night. Uh, no, not. Kevin, have a good night. Uh, have a good night, guys. And then there's plea of some defensive game, 1-3-1, one, one, as they attack the puck right away. Montreal need to have a strong gun in front of the net presence and use the bumper position about that yeah. one over there. Look at, the amount of, look at the amount of sticks in front of the net that they were blocking shots with. There was just tons of shots blocked with sticks. They, they, they played a good defensive game that way, right? Yeah. Uh, and all types of the same thing. Hoffman does not fit in Montreal's new system. He would be fine with a deeper team. Yes, yes, totally agree. Yeah. All right. Uh, Ellender have a much harder schedule playing in Pittsburgh last night. So that should have a score. Yeah. Well, but then, it was a back to back game. So if Montreal have to win one game this weekend, honestly, it was tonight. Tomorrow will be harder. Yeah. Then how they play. Yeah. Exactly. That's just the game they should have had. You know, they, they definitely had the shots and a uh, much better effort. But, like, again, got to give that kid credit. Sorokin was the difference. Um, Mike M., uh, yep, I agree with you about that one, your last comment. Uh, now, yeah, now you make sense, Matt. Uh, Matt Wastroy said, he said the first goal was not absolutely not on price, not at all. No, and it could yeah, be no. Montembeau, Dominic Ashek, Bafté, Bartel. Wouldn't have matter. Uh, well, it's a 3-0. 99.9, yeah. the part go in the net. Exactly. Yeah. You know? Uh, Curry no Price make a big save last season, a two versus zero. Manor and Matthews, by the way, and over time, but yep. that's another story. A three, a little more. <laughs> Imagine if Price saved that three, though, how the fan will react. I agree oh, with you. Oh, my. Yeah. Uh, Mo, have a good night, Mo. Thanks for joining us tonight. Uh, have a good night. I'm not upset how this game turned out. I actually expect this. Uh, Jake, uh, was this proof enough that Price is healthy enough for another team and a trade? Not, not enough, Roger. No, no, at least a couple more games for sure, minimum. You know, two, two, at least two more games. Mike Zuck, uh, good night. Now, what I, what we like is it don't look like behind a lot. It it right. Look, his movement, it was there. He was tracking the puck well. Uh, he was face the puck. He was square. Um, yeah. I did not look like behind a lot. So Not at all. Not at no. all. Uh, I mean, the second goal, like you said in the second goal, Okay, maybe he should have had that one, but that was a good shot. It was a good shot. Yeah. Uh, the Islanders went 3 0, um, Mr. T. Um, yeah. Price is, remember, he was not pleased in the Stanley Cup final six months just in practice. Yeah. Uh, what grade do you give to Price tonight? Um, I would give him a B minus. 
Um, I will go a little bit farther. I think I was C plus. Um, okay. I will go C plus for I, him. I think overall I he did pretty good. He tried the puck. Yeah. Um, he got like five chances, maybe one of them. Only the second goal he. That was the goal that I didn't like, but no, it was I believe a good also shot. he could. It was, you have to give credit for Thompson on that shot. It was low, uh, but yeah. otherwise I don't see bad, a bad game overall for him. No. Uh, we lost to win right, uh, all is good. Um, and yeah. I thought, why would you want to trade price? Um, hey, that's got to be up to price. I don't see. Um, that's up to price. I don't price think has so. to make that choice. I don't think so. I'm Paul, I'm Paul, uh, B, uh, trade. It's carry price. It will decide if you want to get trade. That's right. Exactly what I said. Yeah. I agree totally. Price definitely did not feel 100% confident, comfortable. I'm not agree with that. I don't agree with that either. He played nope. a puck well around the board. He was not he nervous. He was calm. Oh. I, I don't know why he, why he said not comfortable. I think no. he played a puck really well for the first game. I think overall sure. it was pretty good. I was expecting him to misplay the puck a lot more being that rusty, and he looked happy like he was playing the whole season. You know? Yep. I gave Price a uh, 20 shot final, black shot, 13 30. Uh, I gave him a uh, high minus to the game for the first game. Yeah, I think so too. Uh, yeah. Price, he was second star tonight. He will go with yeah. B. I agree with Yad Bond over there. Uh, yeah. JC plus. I would give price for sure. Humble. <laughs> Uberdo got an A plus tonight, Gators, to score. What about Forsling, <laughs> Gators? I, you know what Uberdo can do, Gators, but what Forsling did tonight is unbelievable. Uh, for a, go a cold goalie, he did not play too bad. Uh, yeah. We, oui, Yann, it was a but over. Uh, the Asia, like, whenever a goalie is rusty, I always get worried about lateral movement and how yeah. the glove look. and both look good to me. That they said, really it good. was not like, it was not bad at all for me. His timing was right on, you know, and uh, I actually liked his positioning in the net even more than Allen in some senses, where he kept his up, upper body higher, you know. He wasn't so down so much, you know, so I seen... A little more confidence that way. Uh, does Price need more time with chemistry with Ramalaf? I don't think so, Renu. He played with him for the over three years. So, I don't think uh, that was an issue. I don't, I don't think, think that was so. An he needs like get get chemistry. I think no. Ramalaf did a couple of turnovers tonight or a bad pass at some point. For yeah. me, Price did not look comfortable when blocking shot. Price was always be good player that playing the puck. That's that's not really leave him leave you. Um, I don't know, Ron. For me, I don't see that, but I respect your point of view about that. Yeah. Um, yeah. He, I was quite pleased with Price. <laughs> he's just come back for nine months without play hockey. I don't know what you expect. Like, That's he cannot right. be like, uh, you know, like uh, Vasilevsky right away. Like for, that's for the reason I said yeah. he was look okay for me, comfortable. Oh, it's yeah. It's his first game. But so For sure. He's fun in totally there. He, he was not all over the place and disorganized. So I don't see that. But uh, no, I agree. Uh, nice background coach. Thank you so much. Then uh, empty net. Yen, yen, uh, yes, an empty net. Coffee skill look tired tonight. Well, you know that's the thing, and that that was something else mentioned. It's like the the um, what do they call it? The honeymoon. It was mentioned by a few reporters. Is now over. You know, the, the honeymoon for St. Louis on being easier on the players. Now he's going to start having some expectations. And that means their defensive play is going to have to start picking up. Yeah. Um, and now Ron said, um, I, I don't know, like, first of all, I believe you keep playing with injury. Yeah, I think so too. And, um, yeah. You can feel right now they just tired. That's pretty much yeah. it. I agree yeah. with you, Roger, about that one there. Uh, he said he did not, Price did not play well because he did. All right? 
I th Thank you, Ron. Uh, yeah. Kedar, yeah. I, I, I agree with you. Forsling is our second best defenseman behind Aaron. That put Monto as number three. Shocking, I know. <laughs> Kedar last season, uh, uh, <laughs> I'm laughing right now. Kedar always said last season he was upset about Monto. He, he was, he did not like him at all. And he did not do well again uh, in the playoff. I think he has zero yeah. point, minus five. Maybe Kedar can remind me that. But he did not do well yeah. in the playoff. And he said, no. And I said, no, don't worry. He's going to be fine at some point. And uh, he said time. that. He's laughing. But uh, glad to hear that, time. Mr. Gators. But fourth thing is a steal from the Chicago Blackhawks, by the way. Oh, for sure. Coach, why did you pick Montreal to win and then you take Islanders on your fantasy team? A good pick, five points. But first, I listen to <laughs> you in our tap. So I go with you. But because I have no, no, nothing else, I know that Winnipeg cannot beat Florida. And exactly. because I want to win something tonight, I know if Montreal <laughs> win, I'm happy. If Winnipeg win, I'm happy at the end of the day. So that's, that's the conclusion of my, my point. I know this goalie definitely got an A plus tonight. He did you guys this quite a few times this year, that couple of games. We did dominate. We see the face of God goalie can stand on his head. Oh, yeah, but like not many times. I think overall, King tonight, sure, uh, sure, uh, sorry, Kenny was the best player on the ice. Oh, by far. By far. It wasn't even close. Yeah, <laughs> I agree with you about that one over there. Uh, let me clean this right now, right now here. Whoops. Uh, but at least it was, a, you know, at least it was an entertaining game again. You know, at least you wanted to watch it, you know, again. Like, it wasn't like the two last games where you... For me, I would have rather been in bed for the way they played the last two times. Tonight, I was kind of, I was into it all the way, you know? Yep. So, they kept it was my good attention. to hear that. Um, yeah. One point from Renault, I think Anderson was not best player by far. He was one of them. Him and Armia really I, stood I like out. his play. He was skate. He was skating. Much better game, and he was hitting. You know, he really was doing a lot of everything. Price have a point nine zero zero. Ian said, uh, "All the practice stuff about that." Uh, I Jeff Black coach. Uh, yeah, we block everything right there. It would be fun to know if Arizona start winning. Uh, King of, I'm, I, at the end of the day, I want to be sure we pick the first three. Yes, that's pretty much it. Totally. Yeah. So exactly. As long as we get one of those three, I'm happy. Uh, Renu is right. I don't know what slow out of the gate because of the travel and then says she didn't want to park. Oh, yeah. Yes. Well, yeah. I think the fact they score, they change the momentum for them and they pick it up right there after that. Oh, for sure. For sure. If Montreal score, game over. Yeah. I feel Montreal is going to win that game after that. It was whoever was going to score that first goal. It was going to be over. Yeah. Uh, I agree with that one for sure. About that. Yeah. So, um, um, but I was pleased. I was pleased. I'm very happy for Price. And, uh, you know, hopefully now he gets a couple more games through what's left. And hopefully we can move on and have some direction. You know? I believe, uh, I can tell you right now, but I don't think so. They have any back to back game anymore. Well, that's good. Uh, I, uh, yes, they have won the 23rd, 24th. So they play at Ottawa, then they tr come back home. Uh, it should be uh, next week, uh, Saturday, Sunday. And then after that, um, so you're going to have to see him next week. Yeah. Pretty sure against Boston at, at Mont in Montreal. Uh, they play tomorrow, so he's just going to be there. He will play one game next week, Tuesday or Thursday. They will maybe yeah. play... Sunday, and then after yeah. that, maybe one game at home against Florida, or so maybe same three time. Yeah, yeah, that's what I figure. That's what I figure. I figure you know if you can get three games with him, you get a better sense of where he's at, and he'll have a more sense mentally where he's at. He knows what he feels. Yep. I, I don't know do like uh, Zeb, you know, they took a chance, the opportunist, a three versus zero, and they oh, score yeah. right away. And then after that, they come around. 
Yeah. It was a different game after that. But I, I'll give credit. The Habs at least didn't quit. You know? Shoneman, Campbell, it cost us the game. This our great mistake. It will happen. Yeah, well, it happens. I mean, there was a couple more giveaways earlier on as well. So, you know, we could have been nailed sooner. <laughs> you know? Uh, do you do you have any belief that the Canucks consider to win a squeeze under the playoff? I don't think it's going to happen. I think they're too far back. There's just too much ground to catch. They're, I, I, I admire what they're doing. I really admire it. They're just too far back. They're really too far back. The problem is of, you have too many people in the race. To leave. Yeah. So if yeah. it was only chasing one team. Right. So that team lose. Now they win. They, they come closer, right? But now yeah. they, they have to be sure the Kings lose and the Vegas lose. That's right. And, and, too much. And, and whatever they win, but one of the two win, you don't go nowhere yet. So that's exactly. the difficult part of that one over there. That's what causes the problem. Exactly. Yeah. Can't leave all those teams. I, I feel that way where he's wait on one side and Taylor for over the way. So, yeah. Uh, I think Zef, uh, Zorro can have Michael Bassi, uh, Demon inside of him tonight, honestly. Um, oh, he was, oh, he was lights out. He played well. I, I couldn't believe how well he was. I know it was a little bit late, but Pitlick hit the post over the shoulder at 2 <laughs> I, I believe. Um, yeah. Yeah. Jensen in French. Jensen in French. J'ai out au Siri. I, I can't wait for the playoff, and I think everybody wants for the playoff right now. Yeah. That's exactly it. You know, like the teams in the East, we know all these teams know they're gone. You know, it's the teams who are in know they're in. So it's it's like, come on, let's get on with the playoffs. Zev said right. Zupokin, Zorokin was outstanding. I agree with you. Oh, Best yeah. checking Mr. Enata, uh, Mr. Andrew for tomorrow. Chicago, Nashville. Chicago, Nashville. I'm picking Nashville. Pittsburgh, Boston. Ooh, that's a tough one. It's a very really important game for both teams, by the way. It's going to be a one goal. It's going to go into overtime. It's going to be a one goal difference. Two teams does not do well. Right. So it's going to go into Pittsburgh OT. Pittsburgh beat Islanders, right? Two teams. Boston right now is lost the last three games, and Pittsburgh is played barely 3-5-1, I believe, or two. Exactly. So I think it's going to be an OT game. Detroit yeah. Rangers. I'm going to pick the Rangers. Minnesota. Minnesota. St. Louis Blues. With, oh, my God. That's There you go. There's your playoff preview. <laughs> This for the second position. Yes. That's going to be a good... That's a game to watch tomorrow. I think I'm going to have to watch that myself. The next game, Vegas and Mountain. Oh, my word. There's another one. <laughs> Then uh, the Flowers, Buffalo. Buffalo. Buffalo has been looking good. Washington, Montreal. Uh, I, um, unfortunately, Washington's been hot. Toronto, so Ottawa. Toronto. Toronto's been hot offensively, too. Tampa Bay, Winnipeg. You know, again, I, I, I'll, I'll give Tampa by maybe one because they're not playing perfect, but they're not playing great either. Winnipeg like is back-to-back you know? back anyway. Yeah, and it's, they got too many guys missing. Like San, Jose, San Jose, Dallas. My God, you know, I'd like to, I, usually I'd be able to say Dallas. But the way they're playing and they're not jumping on their opportunity, I that's a good one. I would go to that's Dallas. I'd say by goal if they do. <laughs> But I, I'm not overconfident with them. They missed their Car opportunity. Car 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 Carolina, Colorado. Colorado. Carolina hasn't been playing well. New Jersey, Seattle. New Jersey. It's a tough game, this one. Yeah, I still say New Jersey. Arizona, though. Calgary. Oh, that's lights out, Calgary. <laughs> Columbus, Kings. Kings, yeah. 14 game on the program tomorrow. That's a big night. Again, it's been weird. We're getting one night, you know, where there's two to four games. The other night, it's 12 to 14. Roger Bouchard <laughs> explained exactly what people think. 
Vasu was a great player and a special person. Darn right. All yeah. day long we heard that. Awesome guy. Jose said Boston. Uh, James said Boston too. James, welcome back, buddy. Renault, okay. Zurichin looked like a Zaros and a Rem, and it was included on his back end crossbar. Yeah. yeah. Uh, how many likes we do be... have tonight? Um, I think we crossed the 100, by the way. Uh, well, nice. 114. Jose oh, Dardy said that Troy um, tonight, uh, tomorrow. Uh, New York Islanders goalie, Jan oh. again save at 44 shot tonight. Uh, yeah. He's how does a two-team expansion draft works? Which team draft first? An expansion uh, a pick. Uh, it's select by a pick, uh, uh, a pick, uh, Jan. So they will put dough, they will draft, uh, turn around, whatever it is, and they will select like that. Jose said Vegas. Les Lions de Trois-Rivières seront des séries. Très bonne nouvelle, mon Simon. Très content. Il n'y a pas personne qui sait le, le, le pointage de Laval. Uh, Jose Duarte, c'est Toronto. Tampa Bay, Dallas. Who does Seattle start in net tomorrow? Who does Seattle start in net? Who the Montreal Canadiens start tomorrow in the oh. net? Oh, Montembeau. Montembeau. They're not going to go crazy on uh, Price right away. Not and probably all. when Winnipeg has just tied tonight, it would be the flat, probably a 5 1 game. I, I, I honestly think, I think Winnipeg is, after tonight's game, is going to realize they're done. Okay. They, you know, I, yeah, they're not going to come out the same way. Montembeau, probably, Jan said. And I would take yeah. Dallas tomorrow if spot you three gold. <laughs> I don't know, buddy. I tell you, I kept thinking that, you know, the last couple weeks, and they lose those. Games they're supposed to win. So I, I'm not confident with Dallas. I can't read them. So if the Canadians get the first pick and the ads finished and 31 plays, do the ads get second automatically? No. Not necessarily. They not can necessarily. go third and fourth. Yep. Right. So every time, Roger, the, the team can drop two positions. Yeah. All right. Now... Yeah, but he said, what happened if three teams go up, right? So what happening is this part. So if the number seven get the first one pick, number two go second, all right? Uh, or the number seven go one, number eight go two, right? Now, automatically, it's one go three. And right. then if never number 10 win, now it go only number four. And then two after yeah. that go number, uh, you go all the way like that. So you push everybody. So honestly, two go four. And then after that, the number 10 go five. And then number three go all the way like that. So that's really difficult yeah. to understand, but. It is. It is. It's, it's the up. point is not going to happen a lot. You go to maybe one team slip like a right. crazy top. And you can go only top nine. I, like exactly. the best you can go is 10 nine situation. So, yeah. Uh, Luke said, uh, Bossy was the most underrated superstar. Definitely was one of them. No doubt about it. I mean, what an incredible hockey player. Uh, like I say, yeah, he definitely changed a lot of views in hockey. You know, there's no, no doubt about it. He made a major impact. Alex, no ask you, do you think Toronto will get the second and make it and make the pass first round? They have a chance. I've been saying this. Um, it's going to depend on a few things. I don't think they want to run into um, Florida, Tampa, or Carolina in the, fir in the first round. I think their best chance, truthfully, is to line up against Boston. And that's not an easy chore either because Boston's had their number. But I think there's a difference this time around. You have a few of those pieces that were there that are not there. Rask, Chara couple others that are not there anymore. So they so play I Ottawa tomorrow and Islanders su Sunday. Yeah, I think they can win both of those games, Toronto. Then I after really that, do. they play the Flowers. And there's another one for them. After that, the Lightnings. That's going to be a good game. And they can beat the Lightning. After that, the, the Panthers. And they can beat them. And then now they can get the Capitals, Detroit, and Boston Bruins. 
So they can lose against Tampa Panthers and Boston Bruins, but they can beat five other, uh, one, two, three, five other teams. So they will finish second. Yeah. For sure. They will. They will. Now, if they can go to the second round, it's all depends on the goaltender. Sure does. It sure does. Because I can't, that's the thing I can't judge with Boston right now as well, is are, is uh, their goaltending situation going to be able to do what Rast did? I don't know if they're at to that level. Yep. Um, 1 1 baseball, Yankees, Ariels. If we pick second at 25 30 and the first one, who we both like to see in the Blue Blanc Rouge? In which? Uh, if, you sick, if you pick number two, who do you select? Well, like I say, it just if, if it's all going to depend on it, and of course, I think Wright will get picked. Uh, I would go with the uh, Slavaski. That's who I would go with the winger. That's who I'd go with that big kid. At that moment, I, think he, he, I go with the Slovakia, uh, Slovakia. Yeah. yeah, me too, because he would fit. I think he's the missing piece for that Caulfield uh, Suzuki line. To be honest. Yes. I agree with you about that one there. Now, 25 to 35 is a little bit different. Yeah. Um, because you have too many predictions right now, King, to get there. I always believe Marco Casper, Marco Casper could be the good one over there. I don't know they would pick earlier. Brad Lemberg is another one over there. Usually, right. King, always you have three players fall apart. What are you talking about? The player from 16, 17, 18, 16 to 20. Two or yeah. three of them is going to drop a little bit lower. And those yeah. kind of players, you can look about this. I think Lambert will be picked up before that. But you have a yeah. lot of defensemen. I would not be surprised the second defenseman is a right defenseman. Yeah. The second pick. Yeah. The second pick for Montreal. Yeah. Yeah. I, I see that too. Get her oh, said before yeah. playing a game in the NHL, but she said he would get 50 goals a season. He, he, well, like I say, class act. He was a class act. That's all I can say about Bossy. I loved him. In our times at Toronto, we may even able to beat the Lightnings in playoff. Not in the playoffs. Not in the playoffs. They're a different team in the playoffs. I even think Florida's too much for Toronto in the playoffs. I even think, you know, Carolina's scaring me. Um, I didn't expect them to be shaky the way they are. I don't know what's wrong there. But I even think they're too much for Toronto. I think those three teams, Toronto doesn't want to run into. If Boston played Toronto, pass first round. I think they could. That's what I've been saying. I think with the differences in Boston, Boston slowly regressing just a bit. This, this could be the year they finally win a, a first round if they go up against Boston. It's a chance. It's not a guarantee. It's a chance. Do you think Campbell is good for the playoff? Oh, that's hard to say. That's really hard to say. He's, it's all between, it's between the ears. I always said good, yes, great, no. Right, right. The G's winning 4-1. I think I'll go and play. He will play this weekend. OZ this weekend. It's a back to back game. Chris Anson, welcome aboard, Chris. Thanks for being uh, with us tonight, welcome, Chris. Chris. Welcome, Chris. Um, selection, he said, um, Wright, Cooley, Slokas, Silvaski, and if it's four and five, they pick Nemec. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. uh, Chris, you're not you're not wrong at all. No, uh, you know what I mean. Like it become personnel at that moment. I would take slow fast scheme, but Chris, yeah, you, uh, I I would be happy for what you said right now. Yeah, I like Slovaski too, but uh, Nimic, you know, if you can't get Slovaski, I got no problem with Nimic. Uh, how was Kerry? Did you see the game tonight? Because Paul gone. It was pretty good look. Um, he, he faced what 16 20 shot, but uh, the first 40 minutes it was only uh 12 shot. But at the yeah. third period, he gave uh three versus zero, he cannot do anything. The second, sh the second, I would say it's 50 50. Yeah. It could maybe, but you have to give credit for Thompson overall. Yes, C plus B minus that would be the the note. Yeah. 
you can give it's to in him. That area. Yeah. It's in that area. Yeah. Travel to a like, speed and Tampa Bay is slow. Yeah, but you don't understand when the playoffs come, the ref, the officiating changes as well. They let them bang it up a bit more. And Tampa tightens up and they're, they can play real physical and aggressive. And that is something Toronto doesn't like. So Toronto doesn't handle that well. So there's the problem. Here, I will, I will say that to you. Toronto, Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay, better goaltender. Oh, yeah. By lights, hands down, yeah. Tampa Bay, yeah. better defenseman. Yep. Forward. And that's a difference. Forward, I believe, a little bit slide for Toronto. Yeah. All right. Very so, close. Very close. So yeah. what I just said to you, it will come to one thing. Special team. Yeah. Power play PK. Yeah. Uh, what pick was Bussy? 15 overall pick, Roger. First round. Uh, part of the New York calendars. Yeah. Uh, yes, Chris, I agree with you about that one over there. New York Rangers with the Calgary Flame in the final. Jan Gen Genes 7, no, 15. Uh, and our type got it. But he was 15. Here we go. Thanks, Sawa. Yeah. And our type, he believes Sawa is better to Cooley. Uh, they're, they're so close. They're so close, to tell you the truth. But I am not that big on, you know, history kind of shows itself in the NHL. I don't like these small centers. They don't have a great uh, success rate at center. They'd probably end up being moved to the wing. That's the only thing I'm saying on those two. I'm, I mean, Point, Braden Point really has been the only guy proven uh, of, you know, recent years to have succeeded as a small center. Yeah, I agree with you about that one over there. Um, Subway, better to Cooley. And Chris said Subway have some problem with um, concussion. Yeah, see, there you go. And that's, we don't want to go near that. That's the other end of it. These, and for Montreal, I would prefer us getting a little bit of size and skill because we're small enough, you know, as it is. So we, we really do need to size up a bit. That's possible the problem over there. I tried to get for you. Um, so I, 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 like I say, I like Wright and Slavowski. Those are two I've really got my eyes on for us. I think either one of them will help us. You know, we'll either get, have two great centers or we'll have a great first line. So it's pick your it's pick your poison, right? It all depends on how the chips fall, right? I know. What's what's the year Bossy was drafted? Oh my goodness, that's a good question. Let me check. That's I'm, a good I'm question. Like, I'm I'm busy with this one over there. He was drafted in 1977. I was close. I was thinking 78, but I was off by a year. So, 1937, Mike Bussey got draft 15. The Detroit yeah. draft Del McCord. Wow. That's pretty good, Del McCord. Mm -hmm. Can I pick yeah. Barry Beck? Oh, Barry Beck. What a, I love Barry Beck. What a good Number three, Washington select Robert Picard. Not bad, not bad. Number four, Vancouver Gier Gillies. It was mm. not bad, just Gillies. He played 385 yeah. games. That's not too bad. Uh, number not five, too. Cleveland, Mike Grumbean. Grumbean. He played 405. Number six, wow. Doug Wilson. Oh. What a, what a great player. I love Dougie. Number seven, mm. Brad Maxwell, 600 game. Yeah. Number yeah. eight, sure. Lucien de Blois. Oh, I love Lucien. Yeah. Number nine, the Saint Louis select Scott Kendall. Play only 80 game. He's the one play the last game. Number, wow. Number 10, Montreal select who? 
in 19... What year was it again? 77. Oh, boy. What position did they uh, draft from? Mark Lapierre and Mark, Mark Napier. Oh, wow. Yeah. So Montreal that, that, at 10, they could select Mike Bussey. Oh, my God. <laughs> and I'm sorry, no knock against Napier. I like him. But to me, that's where we started not drafting so well. You know? Josh Anderson after that from Toronto. Anderson, not too bad. He played 800 games. But Toronto have a back-to-back. Back-to-back. They skip Mike Bossier and they pick up Trevor Owenson. He played oh only word. 200 games. Oh the Rangers word. select Ron Duguay. Ron Duguay was a good hockey player. And then wasn't no Mike Buffalo Fossey, before though. New York Islanders. B Buffalo select Rick Sailing. He was, a, he was good, but again, not bossy. <laughs> now, Montreal, after that, after Bossy picked 18, they select Norm, Norman Dupont. Wow. He never wow. played very well about that one there. No, no, not The at Minnesota all. select Dave Semenko. <sighs> Man. And Why then, didn't we even grab him? Do you know who's the <laughs> next player after Mike Bossy for the Islanders? No. Second round? No. Nystrom? John Tonelli. I love John Tonelli. Love him. <laughs> then 36, at the end of the second round, Montreal wow. select for the new M share, Rod Langway. Yes, and that was the mistake we, of us not having the patience with Langway to hold on because I knew he was going to be another Robinson type. And we just, we, we had to, to make a statement because we were not taking the cup anymore. So we got a little dumb and decided to trade him off. A big mistake. <laughs> wow. Montreal Canadiens select third round. You have three selections. Alec Côté. Wow. He played for Quebec. Yeah. Pierre Legacy. Never played. No. Then Gordy Roberts. Wow. And he never played no he never played for Montreal. He played 1000 game in initial. Yeah. Wow. Unreal. Uh, I apologize guy we was and so that. Uh Roger no Enemen is out for the rest of the season. Wow. Luke Lafosten 65 is too young. Yes. Francois Pitt, yep. yeah, Mike Napier before Mike Bussy. And that's crazy. Francois <laughs> de uh, Pitt, de Blois for Mariana, yes. And our tab is Carbono. Carbono. Love Carby. Love Carby. Carbono. That was one of our better moves. Uh, we, yeah. Uh, Francois tout une gaffe. Maria, I was too far away from Laval to see Bossy potential. <laughs> <laughs> Like we want to be paid in USA, so Montreal trade M in USA. Uh, I still say we should have held on to him. I think our fortunes would have went a little different in the 80s had we let him develop fully. I mean, Rick Green was no replacement for Rod Langway, I'm sorry to say. <laughs> a good defenseman, but not a great. Carbono was draft in 1979. Yeah. Two yeah. years after Mike Bussy. Beautiful draft that was. Those stuff like this, I do this all the time. I'm watching all this yeah. stuff like that. Montreal select in the first round. Um, they don't have anybody. Second round, Montreal select Gaston Gingras. Love Gaston. What a shot that man had. Montreal oh. select and second round, Mats Nasloon. How could you not love Mats? Man, how could you not love him? The last, the last great goal scorer to me that we've had. That second round after Mats Nasloon, Dale Hunter, Quebec. Man, there's another good one. <laughs> uh, Montreal select after that, Greg Levy. And back after him, Guy Carbonneau. 
and yeah, Carbono much better. Yeah. That you was a good do you, that know, was do, a you do you want to know after one, two, three, four pick later? Yeah. Montreal could select him. They select Greg Levy. Yeah, you I know. You know who they miss? Who? Mark Messi. You're not serious. We could have had Messi. overall pick by Edmonton. Between that, when you just told me about Semenko, that was bad enough. But to, to know we could have had Messi on top of it, oh my word. <laughs> so Edmonton select Mark Messi. He, he played the most games during that year, during that draft. Following by wow. Ray Book and Mark, Mark Gar Mike Garner. But after that, huh. 41, Del Hunter, Carbono, 40, 44. Edmonton yeah. select Glenn Anderson, 69. They had a good draft system going. There's no doubt about it. Remember really Thomas Steen? Yep. Oh, I loved him. 103 pick at that year. Holy smokes. Really? That far down? Wow. That's what just a talented player. player. That is incredible. He was so good for the Jets. Mm. At three season, at three, at three straight 17 goal playoff season, Mike Bussey. Uh, yeah, we never yeah. talk about the playoff also, really. Uh, oh, Nasdaq was, was a second fun. round still. Do you see yeah. anyone in the night in Sherman Alki play a similar style or play Ramon you, Mike Bussey? You know what? Um, the closest I've seen to Mike Bossy, he's already retired. Luke Robotai. Very, right a lot of them. Yeah. Yeah. If you talk about players in the past, now he tasks you uh, right now. Right now. Austin Matthews. Yeah, but Matthews has uh, got more. More talent skating. I'm talking about not the, 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 the way he scored he's goal, the like the, the he's goal the average shot. per game, every time that. That's what yeah. I'm talking about. No, it's not like Mike Bassi is the right wing and the one is center, right? Um, right. Oven skin. Yeah. He's the right wing. Yeah. Yeah. By the monkey. Welcome aboard, by the monkey. Thanks for joining us. Hey, how's it going, Spider Monkey? Look said Langway Jarvis and Blood laughing for Green and Walter. Yeah, I didn't like it. I didn't like that trade whatsoever. I was totally against it. What was that Savard that was in GM at that point? Coach? No. No? Uh thought he had just taken over. I could have sworn he had just taken uh, maybe. over. Maybe, but that trade gave Montreal to win the Stanley Cup with Ryan Walter in '96. Yeah, but I mean, my God, you can't—you still can't compare it. Look at what could have happened with having a clutch defenseman like Langway, with all the Norris trophies he won over there in Washington. He turned that team around big time, and Jarvis was no slouch. You know what I mean? Great faceoff man. Um. Chris Enson said, "Our draft has been rough for the last 20 years of plus. Gordon and oh, okay. 2006 pick Kessel, Marchand, Luchik. Trade for yeah. Rask, Abs, Fisher, Cal, and Maxwell. I think you and Gordon would be much better. Oh, yes. It's going to turn them back around. Because that's one thing I can say is Savard at least drafted well when he was in there. You know what I mean? He did draft well. Look at Chelios and guys like that coming in. Matthew Snyder. You know, he was drafting very well. Uh, I agree with you about that one. Chris, you should come back more often. Look like you analyze about hockey. Uh, Chris, yeah. thanks to stop by. Uh, I just Joe said that uh, at the MLB baseball betting champ talk out of the sing uh, singing with Yankees by Jack Robinson. Dead at 83. All right. <sighs> No one compared to Bassi right now. No, no, but I understand what you mean, Luke, but we try to... I, that's what I say, too. A similar I have a hard time with that. Too. That's what I tried to get. Yeah, you got, you got as close as you could get, and I still don't think it's a match, but it's as close as you can get. 
is and he confirmed Serge Chaval made the trade. What's that? Serge Chaval made the trade. I thought so. I yeah. thought so. Basi died that. a long guns, uh, long uh, cancer at 65. Yeah. Basi could skate. It's just like the slow, the tempo to pick his spot, it shoved that puck in the net. Yeah, yeah, he was definitely slower moving, but boy, the cannon on him was just, and the accuracy. Can't believe it. Um, Luke Lafarsen said, lightweight one to play for US. Yeah, but you could have changed his mind. You could have changed his mind. Like I say, you have to understand that uh, Savard, we had just got dismantled winning Stanley Cups. So Montreal was determined to send a little bit of a message to the, the team. And it was, sorry, it was just a bad trade. Wrong guys to pick. <laughs> I think so too. I think you're absolutely right about that. Um, yeah. I think yeah. for... Um, You know, you never know when I, it's easy to talk after that, right? But uh, and let guys develop, though. That's the catch, you know. Let them develop and look what he turned into. You know, he just turned into one phenomenal defenseman, and you could see it coming even in Montreal. Just need a time. Just need a time. Absolutely right about that. Um, and I Doug think- Jarvis, Doug Jarvis. There was never a reason to get rid of Dougie Jarvis. No, for sure. Like Mark Napier. I would have got unloaded Napier long before Jarvis. <laughs> you know? Yep. Um, all right, let's move on here. What's the record for the most goal in season by the Montreal Canadian? That's a good question. I believe it's Guy Lafleur, but I could be wrong with Stéphane Richer. Season goals? Yeah, I think it is Richer. Guy Lafleur was 60. Yeah, I, I think he had it. I'm not sure. I know, I know he had it, but... I'm not sure if Brichet broke it. No, Steve shot 62. Wow. No, 60, like, both of them are 60. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Um, But, you know, I felt Guy, was- Guy Lafleur and Lemaire helped uh, insulate shot a lot. <laughs> you know what I mean? They were great line mates to have. Tresado remind me, buddy, somewhat. Joseph says, you did not add the 97 draft memorized now, uh, Joseph. Obviously, not every one of them, uh, obviously. <laughs> Mr. NHL. <laughs> okay, but it was a good one. NHL, welcome aboard. Welcome, man. Uh, no one compared to Bassi period. Nobody scored 50 plus and also uh, uh, around no. 53. No, of course. Hello. No, no. I agree. Bassi, uh, poor man, Bassi type players. Uh, Bozer is a poor man, a Bassi player. <laughs> Bassi, five <laughs> seasons, 60 goal. Yes. Lafleur, I have 60 uh, uh, look with safe shot. Yeah. It's Lafleur easy. Lafleur made 60 goal, season, not Richie. Did Bassi okay. get four Stanley Cup ring? Yes. Roger, back to back to back to back. And uh, Steve Schott got 60 gold also in 1976, 1977. Um, and then, That line was something. And then Guy Lafleur repeat this at 77, 78. And Guy Lafleur has the most point in one season, uh, a 136 point uh, for one season. And the all-time gold leader, Maurice Richard, 544. And Guy Lafleur has the most the point, 12.46. Yeah, I thought um, he had the most points. Yeah. So uh, that's where we're at. And you, you, now, don't you think that's a little too long for our organization to go that long without somebody else jumping into the role? You know? Yeah. Do you know <laughs> Matwa just crossed the 8,000 point? Nobody talk about this? Wow. I did not know that. Nor did I. It's happened like... Wow. 
Like they have only eight thousand nine points, so that's up in like five, like month ago maybe. I don't know why I missed that one. Yeah, there's a lot to focus on. <laughs> yep, that's pretty good about that one over there. It is. Uh, that's what we at at that moment. Um, do you have anything else? No, that's about it. I mean, like I said, I just think everybody should be quite content with what we've seen from Kerry. And, uh, you know, I was very pleased. You know, he didn't look anywhere near out of place like I thought he was going to. I thought he might get shell shot, you know, and he looked fine. He looked totally fine. The team, and I was glad the team put on an effort, at least, at least. You know, they weren't as bad as the last two games. So I say keep your head up and be positive. It was a positive night for them. And uh, now it's just a matter of, to see how he plays, you know, the next couple of times and find out how he's feeling. That's really what we're waiting for. Yeah, that would be interesting about that. Uh, who is the most uh, assist by any goaltender? Who has the most assist? Yes. Boy, that's going to be either Hextall or Brodeur. No, for the Montreal Canadiens. Oh, for the Montreal Canadiens. Well, that's got to be Patrick Waugh. Uh, yeah, but you got what? Yeah, yeah. I think you have about 27, 26, 28. Yeah. But you got what? That, that makes sense. If Coyotes and Abs are tied for the last place, what happened? What's the rules? Isn't it their head-to-head uh, -head numbers that count? So if, uh, uh, okay, let's go that way. Arizona have... 21, 20, and 6. Yeah. All right. Montreal have 20, 19, Whoever's and got the more win, the most and wins. Eight. Is gonna, the, the team that's got the most wins, actual wins, is going to get it, I take, I believe. So, the standing is this. But remember, if you have most win, you're supposed to go over... And the same thing. So, if Calgary is 42 and Vegas is 40, and they are most the point, Vegas finished 15, uh, Calgary finished 15, and Vegas go 16. But what happened right. at the end for the last position? Yeah, I would still say it, it would, it's going to come down to the win column, not the overtime one, you know, the single points. It's going to come down to the win column, and I believe. If worse came so to worse, example, it would I, be... I always more easy. You have 38 points, I have 38 points. Yeah. We are even right now, right? Wins? Who's you got have, the most wins, though? You have 20 go, 20 W, and I have 18 W. Who finished yeah. last? Uh, the, the one with 18. No. Really? Yeah. For the last position only, for the last position... The last that position, 18. Tiebreaker. The tiebreaker yeah. is the, the team at the most win finish last. Really? For the last position for the pick, initial draft pick. Wow, that is so messed That's up. That's the only one. The rest is 29, 30, whatever they are. They're always the one at the most W. Well, yeah, you would think. That's what I was thinking. But the last wow. position. The last position they gave the that position because they are even. Oh my word! Yeah, you would still think you know the guy with the most wins should get it. So look, look, he said the most lows. No, it's the most the W. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. I I got this like three weeks ago. Uh, I don't know why I got it. I don't know if it was any at work or Elliot Freeman or something, but it was like. I was boomer, I believe. And it was like, oh, I did not know that too. No. So, man, that's throwing your wrench into things, I'll tell you that. Yeah. So, <laughs> that's what is, you know, you think about this. Like, when all the standing, right, in initial. Yeah. I'm going to get there. Uh, I'm going to go all the way uh, by the league. Coyotes are last. So, Arizona right now. It's 49. Right. Montreal is 51. 
Right, we're second last. But Arizona have 22 goals, 22 D W. If right. they win a tie break with Montreal, they finish last. Man. Now, Seattle is at 52. Now, Montreal have the most game right now compared to Seattle. Yeah. So, wow. The Montreal right now, for what I can see on the, on the board, they only can finish 32, 31, or 30. They have no yeah. chance they can finish. But well, they have a chance, but they're not going to reach 30, 29. So, they're going no. to pick no. one. In the bottom three. Two, three, four. Or five. or five that's right it. so yeah. you get your top, five, your top over there. five yeah exactly not bad not, not bad. bad at all um and hopefully the luck turns in our way you know in the lottery part of it <laughs> yeah so right now the winnipeg seven game to go right now they're done 14 they're done. game that's gave them uh, 95 points. They're still mathematically in the playoff. Yeah, it's not going to happen. Now, Vegas is one point behind Los Angeles with one mm -hmm. game in hands. Yeah, and it's going to be, I think you're right. I think uh, Vegas, the way they're playing, they're going to probably pull ahead of L.A., right? It's going to be L.A. holding, trying to hold that spot, right? Vancouver have to but win. Again, Vancouver have to win to make the playoff. At least make it right. They have to win almost the six of the seven game. Oh, easy. They All right. And then have. after that, if they would do that, Vancouver. Yeah. That gave them yeah. twelve points. That gave them ninety three points. Oh, that gave man. only Los Angeles to win only three game, and, and they're going to six, that. and they pass. Vancouver almost. They're done. Vancouver. They're done. They're done. I even think Winnipeg's done. Yeah. You know, I think both of them are done. Have a point. good night, King. About that one over Have there. Yeah, one one. About that one over there. So uh, pretty amazing about this, Mr. Um Mr. Andrew. Uh, yeah. We're going to complete the show right now. Eleven uh, it's almost eleven. We had no game and then we I think I don't know which game to do. St. Louis Blues. Yes. Minnesota yes. or the Edmonton. No, do the Blues. The Blues-Minnesota game. I think that's, that's the winner, game. maybe. Because that gave oh, me yeah. time to come back for finish the, the, the Montreal. It gave me a little bit more time. So if the, exactly. weather is not, if the weather is bad, I'm going to do the game tomorrow. Sounds good. Thank you so much, Andrew. Very kind of Anytime. you. Look forward to you tomorrow night for the Montreal Canadiens. Sounds good. We'll and, catch you there. Uh, thanks again for everything. I wish you an amazing, great night, buddy. You have a good night, too. And everybody have a good night. Take it care. It was Mr. Andrew Lepage from the Nova Scotia, the insider, the Montreal Canadian for uh, the Hockey Nation Live show. Andrew always brings us some good insight, but he loves to talk about hockey, and that's what we like to do here. That's the most important thing. So, um, uh, too small, for, I won't be happy. If I pick other days, too small. But the only one really, Roger, is maybe only a Sabwa. Uh, I still believe Slavoski will be the guy they will pick. And why you said that, Coach? Because I still believe the line, the center, have to be better, stronger, and bigger and i think Sabwa does not fit on what they're looking for so i believe they will go with a big strong safoski at six four that's my pick or the right defenseman nemek or jerechek but again we we're going to talk a lot about this the next couple of weeks and you know that's what i love to do here i will talk with you with you guys all night long um if i could uh, honestly but uh we'll see so tomorrow night, tomorrow we should do the game Minnesota St. Louis live. And then we're going to do Montreal Canadian tomorrow night again at Washington Capital. We're going to follow every game tomorrow. And if you want to give me your prediction for tomorrow, send it to me by email. That would be great about that. Big wave storm today here, my neighbor. I've got a sports destroyed by finding three scary. Uh, wow. 
Dame nature, uh, Miss Weller. It's not always nice for everybody. Thank you so much, everybody, to another live stream. I play by play by the hockey coach, go coach French. I can wait to see you tomorrow for another one. Until then, we wish you, of course, uh, you are awesome. You are amazing. You are the best. And remember, you have greatness inside of you. Thank you so much, everybody. We appreciate your participation of the Hockey Nation Live Show. But before we leave, we once said another time, R.I.P. Mike Bussey. Thank you for everything for over 15, 17 years. I watched you to play hockey junior and NHL. You gave me a lot of joy about the game and you let me love the game more. Until then, my friend, I wish you an amazing, blessing night. Sweet dream. I will see you tomorrow. And of course, be well, be healthy, and find a way not only to dominate your day. Find a way to dominate what? Your 2022. Have an amazing, great night, everybody. Have a good night, Roland. Night, Joseph. Third.